Hello everybody and welcome to today's All Signs reading. Um, today's All Signs is going to be the good stuff coming your way in October. Okay, um, we're gonna, if we see love, then we're going to talk about love. If we see money, we'll talk about money. Um, sometimes the good stuff that comes our way is maybe not necessarily something that we feel is good right now, but in the long term it is. So it could be a blessing in disguise. So, you know, we could see stuff about, you know, cutting people off or losing things, but um, it's all for a greater picture in the grand scheme of things. But um, yeah, you guys can watch for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the north node signs, whichever signs you feel like resonate with you the most. Um, I'm going to be time stamping as I go along. So if you see me writing, I'm time stamping. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with um, Aries. We're going to say Aries is 55 seconds. Okay, what is the good stuff coming uh, to the, oh, you're going to end up in a relationship. <laughs> you're gonna end up in a relationship with somebody like romantic relationship and you could also be getting a lot of cash like money like actual cash money like money talks so october in the month of october uh money talks for you and money's talking a lot okay uh you and money go real good like boyfriend and girlfriend husband and wife or man and man woman and woman whatever whatever you into uh y'all real tight okay so i'm getting a lot of cash possibly like a lot of cash deals um a lot of money you're gonna be touching a lot of money this month or in the month of October. And uh, I'm seeing a relationship with somebody. Could be a Pisces. Um, Y'all fight. <laughs> y'all fight like uh, rabid animals. Like y'all fight like cats and dogs. Like y'all, y'all don't fuck with each other. It's, it's kind of giving me the energy of um, unrequited love at first. And then y'all like each other. Um, y'all not going to get along or y'all not going to like each other initially. Okay, so it's not no Romeo and Juliet. Side note, I just read Romeo and Juliet. I read a little pamphlet. I didn't know them two fucking killed themselves. I didn't know that. I never read it before. I read a little summary and I was like, first of all, I thought like a little duel was them like fighting each other. Then they're like, oh, he ended up dead. Then he killed him to avenge him. Like it was a whole lot that I just did not expect. So I'm not even gonna use that reference, Romeo and Juliet, cause that is like darker than, that's like darker than, um, than, I, than I anticipated it would be. So I'm gonna be working on reading that. That was a little thing, but um, yeah, it's not going to be a little fairy tale, okay? It's not going to be, um, it's not going to be the, the ideal love story, okay? Y'all going to fight. <laughs> Y'all not going to like each other. Y'all not going to get along, okay? You going to get in each other's nerves. Y'all going to hate each other's guts. Now you're like, how is that love? Why would I want somebody that I hate? Everybody's love looks different. Some people can never fight and be fine. Some people fight, not to say that fighting is a clear indication of love, but fighting, uh, some people fight and they end up still loving each other, like, some people just don't like each other and sometimes they do. This feels like this is a raw love. Okay, this ain't like, um, this ain't pretty with sparkles, okay? It's not ugly neither, but it's not, it, it has blemishes, okay? Something here ain't perfect. It got dark marks, it got bruises, okay? It's got scars, it's got, uh, it's, it's, it's got, it's got character, your relationship with somebody, okay? I'm gonna just put it that way. It's gonna have some character. It's gonna be like a cartoon, it's gonna be like a character, okay? What you got for, um, what you got for, hold on, let me shuffle this. What you got for Aries, the good stuff coming in. Aries way in October. Um, you're very resilient and you know your stuff. So I see you, um, you're, you're, you're coming across as real smart and real knowledgeable. Like you know exactly what you're talking about. So um, if you're like a spokesperson, if you're a public speaker, if you speak in front of a group of people, if you're an influencer, if you're online, or if you, you just have to talk and people have to listen to you, um, you're coming across as someone dependable, reliable, like someone that knows his or her stuff. Okay, I'm getting some of y'all could have Gemini in your chart. Um, y'all know exactly what y'all talking about. Okay, people are going to gravitate towards you. What's the good stuff coming uh, Aries way in October? What's the good stuff coming Aries way in October? Okay, we got the Queen of Cups and we have the Tower. Somebody wants a relationship with you. Somebody may say that they're sorry to you. <laughs> Somebody wants a relationship with you and somebody may say that they're sorry. Somebody may say, listen, I'm sorry. I may fight with you. We may argue. We may, we may, you know, battle like cats and dogs. We may, we may go like this to each other. Want to just ring each other around the neck. Somebody may say this to you, but at the end of the day, X, Y, Z, this is how I feel about you. Okay. So I see somebody could be apologizing to you. Somebody could be saying sorry. Somebody wants a relationship with you. Okay. This could be, um, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. The tower is Scorpio. So it could be a Scorpio. Uh, for some reason, I'm getting the name Heather and I'm getting the name Chaney. 
Chaney, Heather, Heather and Chaney, like, you know, like, um, what's his name? Is his name Dick Chaney? I don't know. I'm getting like Heather and Chaney. I don't know. Queen of Cups, the tower. Clarify this for, um, for Aries. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this Aries, some relationship that you're going to be in is explosive. Like the, the card to describe your relationship is the tower. Okay. So this doesn't look in this tear, in this deck, um, Side note, thank you to Shanikia who got me, who gifted me this deck. Thank you so much. Um, this is Legacy of the Divine, in case if y'all want to purchase it yourself. Um, it's on Amazon. The Tower in regular, like Rider Waite Smith Tarot, um, it's destruction. It's people throwing themselves out of, jumping out of a burning building that's destroying, that's destructing from the bottom. Fire, everything. The Tower isn't gorgeous. Okay, but that's the beauty in it. So your relationship with someone is represented by the tower, Aries. Your relationship seems like chaos. It's something new every day. You never know what to expect. It's a, it's, it's like a sitcom. It's a drama. It's a comedy. It's a rom-com. It's, it's funny. It's sad. It's everything. It's love. This is your love. Nobody else can, it don't matter what, what their relationship is. This is your love. This is your relationship. This is your person. This is your whatever. Okay. This, I mean, I'm, this, this feels like <laughs> this feels like it could get uh, geared towards toxic a little bit, but um, I'm gonna just say this: this this just feels like it's it's a unique type of love. Okay, it's that Martin and Gina. You know how they be screaming at each other. Okay, <laughs> um, Martin and Gina, Martin and Pam, is that type of love? Okay. Um, okay, so we got the Queen of Cups, the Tower. What else is the good stuff coming Aries way in October? Some of y'all where you make music, I'm getting some of y'all could be making some mixtapes, okay? Mixing some beats up. We got the uh, three of wands. Yeah, I feel like some of y'all are gonna choose somebody or decide to stay together with someone. Yeah, some of y'all gonna end up in a relationship soon. If it's not in October, it, it's just something here is leading to a relationship. It could be with another Aries, with a Pisces or with a Gemini. You getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be someone that you met at work. Okay, we got the three of wands. Let me clarify this relationship. Who is it that Aries is going to end up in a relationship with here regarding the month of October? Who is this? They come, they're full of surprises, man. They're so like, this could definitely be a Scorpio. They, 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 they're, or they got Scorpio highly aspected. They come with surprises. And when I say y'all are at each other's necks, like, like, you know, like, like, you know, it's just y'all get each other riled up. Like y'all get each other there. And if this is an Aries Scorpio, like y'all can definitely get each other that angry. Y'all got the same planet, Mars, okay? Scorpio's Pluto on Mars, you're Mars, okay? That's the planet of aggression, anger, conflict, but it's also the planet of like get up and go, gusto, ambition. So, you, you know, the arguments are gonna be explosive. So is the sex. <laughs> so is the intensity of the love, baby, okay? Who is this person for, uh, for Aries that they're gonna end up in a relationship with in October? Yeah, I'm getting Virgo, I'm getting Pisces. Who is this that Aries is going to end up? Um, they're going to stalk you. So they, they watch you first. We got the Ten of Swords. I'm getting Virgo and I'm also getting Aries. Uh, they're very, they could be very muscular. Okay. Or that, you know, a woman could be muscular as well. I don't mean she's like masculine or manly. Um, some women just have really nice muscle tone or some people have really toned bodies. Okay. So it could be a man or a woman, whatever you're into. Um, Ten of Swords. Okay. What's this Three of Wands here for Aries? The good stuff coming Aries way in October. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius here that's younger, okay, uh, or a Taurus. This feels like maybe something plat platonic, okay, and we have the Two of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody here that's younger than you. This could be someone that you work with. Um, some of y'all could be tying the knot with somebody. Some of y'all, this is like cheering to a business partnership, a business relationship, okay? So some of y'all are going to be working closely together with somebody um, to accomplish something. Sorry. Okay, we got the Three of Wands. The two of cups. Yeah, I'm getting like teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, so I see some happiness and some connection with somebody, Aries. Um, this feels like it could be platonic though. Like I feel like there's one significant romantic thing that y'all got going on. And then there's this like, you know, other interpersonal relationships. What's this three of wands? Two of cups here for Aries. In October, the good stuff. You and somebody are going to become the best of friends. Uh, it's you and someone that you work with, I feel like, or they're in your field. Uh, we got the queen of wands. Oh, you make this person jealous. So they're okay. So y'all may have options. There's if this is not the same person, there's this queen of wands here. You make them real jealous. You make them angry. You make them upset. You make them mad. Okay. Three of wands. Yeah. You make this person angry. Okay. This is giving me like anger. Queen of wands. Um, three of wands, two of cups, the queen of wands. And we got the knight of pentacles. Who's this queen of wands here for Aries? 
in October. Yeah, someone's got a short fuse. Who's this Queen of Wands without the magician? Okay, so there's there's some there's some other person here, maybe like an Aries Leo Sag or some angry jealous woman or man, whatever that wants a relationship with you here. So there's someone else here. Um, give me spirit. Is this different from this energy here? It feels like this Queen of Wands is not the same as this Queen of Cups. Are these two different people, or is this the same person for Aries in October? Are these two different people here, or the same person for Aries? Are these two different people, or same? We got the three of pentacles. I'm getting two different people. It's like two different people to choose from that you work with. Who is this queen of wands? Yeah, they like to start arguments. This person is argumentative. Their arguments may center around money. So you may have like argumentative or explosive connections. In October, one of them centers around money. The other is like just explosive, like just unpredictable. Who's this queen of wands here for Aries? In October, who's this queen of wands for Aries? I'm getting Scorpio. I feel like you can trust this person. If this is someone that you work with or closely with, you can trust this person. Um, we got the King of Swords. Um, it feels like this person thinks just like you. They may have Aries in their chart, highly aspected, like an Aries moon or something like that. This person wants a relationship with you. They want to they wanna make a relationship work. Give me one card on this Two of Cups here before we move on. What's this Two of Cups here for Aries? Two of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here likes to argue with you as well. They start arguments out of nowhere, though. Someone here is, like, problematic. So, some of y'all, this could be the same person. Just, like, they're popping up in a lot of different energies. Um, I do feel like your son, like, if you're an Aries sun, someone here got an Aries moon or Aries rising or something like that. Like, it's, like, in their big three or somewhere. Maybe, like, North Node. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever placements you got, they got something, like, y'all matching. Okay, so it could either be two separate options for y'all in October. Or one option that just takes on many forms. <laughs> Like you see many different faces or sides of them. Okay. Um, let's move on to Taurus. Okay, we got a card. Oh, shit, I just lost it. We had a card that went us to flip out for y'all, but it just fell back in. We're going to say Taurus, you start at 12 minutes, 15 seconds. What's the good stuff coming towards Taurus in October? The good stuff coming towards Taurus. Um, Taurus, uh, some of y'all I'm getting like a work thing, a friends with benefits situation. Y'all could start that with somebody. If y'all interested in some sex, y'all not celibate. Or some of y'all not gonna stay celibate if you are. Um, some of y'all I'm hearing the Nutcracker, so I don't know if you're watching the Nutcracker or what. Um, I'm getting a safety, a safety, um, safety de de deposit box, security, deposit, safety deposit box. Like, um, I don't know if you're like amping up security around your money, but I'm getting a safety deposit box. Like y'all may invest in something. Something here is and something here is an investment. And if I feel like um, you're inv if you're if this is something that you're invested in for the long term, um, something here is gonna pro is gonna yield results like uh, with longevity. Like um, you will have longevity with something. Like you will be staying with this thing for a while. It feels like it's something here that's repetitive. This is this could be like a, a career. Like you choose to make something that you're doing as a hobby, as a career, full time thing. Okay, but it feels like uh, there's longevity in something. If this is a relationship, I feel like something here, someone is in it Someone is in it for the long term. There's longevity. What you got for Taurus? The good stuff coming their way in October. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries. Someone trying to holla at you. Someone trying to talk to you. You cute whatever. Okay, which, what's the good stuff coming towards Taurus in October? Okay, we got the two of cups. Okay, so some of y'all... Damn. So Aries, I, I picked up on a little bit of Taurus and Aries reading. So some of y'all could end up in a relationship as well. I got a very strong message of that for Aries. So maybe y'all got Aries in your chart or you're a cusper. I do find that the zodiac sign before the one that I'm reading on, some of it will bleed in like in some way. I think it's just because like that's the sign before you. So you get a little bit of what they got. What's this two of cups here for um, Taurus? The good stuff coming their way in October. What's this two of cups? Some of y'all, oh wow, some of y'all could actually end up married to somebody. Now, I don't know about in October, but I'm getting marriage for y'all. I'm getting a Sag, like your, your future partner, relationship, marriage, or something like that. Could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Uh, they're real easy on the eyes. They're attractive. And this person, they tackle issues. So this person, like they're ambitious. If they got credit card debt, they gonna tackle that debt. And I specifically got debt in my head. Like they will tackle that credit card debt. If they have an issue, they will tackle that issue. Like someone here, they don't run from problems. So I don't know if you dealt with some... Um, some cowards, some uh, some pussies. I don't know what you I don't know what you dealt with. Okay, but this person don't run. Okay, they face their they face their demons. They face the they face the the monsters ahead. Okay, they welcome it with open arms. It's a challenge. Okay, baby, I'm ready. Hit me where you got this person. Ain't no runner. She's a runner. She's a track store. No, 
No, she's a fighter. She's a warrior or he or she. Y'all gonna end up together with this person. Um, I'm getting, yeah, you know, I'm getting like breakups, you know, makeup, breakup, makeup, breakups. So some of y'all, this is a little bit similar to Aries. Okay, give me more of this two of cups, two of wands here for um, Taurus. The good stuff coming Taurus's way in October. I'm getting something here about this could be happening in November. You could end up in a relationship with somebody. I'm getting November. Um, this could be, I said Sag. So it could be a Scorpio or a Sag because I think Scorpio is October and November. Sag is November, December. And then I'm also getting a little bit of Capricorn. What's this? Two of Cups, Two of Wands here for um, Taurus. The good stuff coming their way in October. Two of Cups, Two of Wands. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting a relationship with somebody. It's, it's really, it's going to be a strong relationship. The foundation that something is built on is very strong as well. Um, it's stable. Like, ain't nothing going to rock this boat. Okay, I'm trying to, like, avoid the glare. Two of Wands, Ten of Wands. It's either a relationship or you and somebody are going to end up the best of friends, okay? I'm getting scorpionic. With this, with Scorpio energy, I'm hearing they're very honest. So they're very, like, upfront, blunt, and direct. Like, they don't, like, they cut right to the chase. They don't, they don't play around in your face. Someone here is very honest, very blunt. Um, they may have, like, a Mercury in Scorpio, Mercury in Capricorn, Mercury in Aries, Sag, maybe. Okay. Um, okay. Tell me more of the good stuff coming Taurus's way in October. The good stuff coming Taurus's way in October. Okay, we got the Page of Pentacles. Okay, some of y'all getting younger energy. Okay, the, the person you end up in a relationship with could be younger. Uh, we got the Page of Pentacles. What's this Page of Pentacles here for um, Taurus? Y'all look younger than you are. Like, y'all look very young. Y'all got a baby face. And I keep wanting to say Aries. And for me, the baby faces in the Zodiac are, um, are I believe, I want to say Libra, Virgo, Gemini and Aries, definitely the baby faces in the zodiac. Okay, so some of y'all, because I keep wanting to say Aries, y'all may have Aries in your top three or something, or y'all may be a cusper, but it feels like y'all got baby faces. Y'all look a lot younger than you are. Okay, whether you think that or not, you could be like, I look like an old hag. Okay, bitch, well, you, you would look like a young old hag. Okay, like uh, to other people, you look young. Okay, you look very youthful. People may confuse you. You may still get carded. Okay, what is this? The good stuff coming Taurus's way in October. We have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Magician. Okay, I see that somebody here is going to buy you something. This could be an Aries. Um, someone here is going to buy you something. It feels like to help you in your business or to help you with some money. Someone's going to help you make some money or something is going to help you make some money. I feel like someone's going to buy you something though. Okay, um, what is this that somebody here is going to buy? Taurus. I'm getting like a... It's like it's like a system or something like a method... Uh, methodology like something to help you like work smarter not harder like it's something to help you excel okay it's something to help you get further to make sure that you're excellent so i, I see somebody looking out for you what is this that somebody here is going to buy taurus here the good stuff in october what is this that someone's going to buy taurus i'm getting like a nice pair of jeans or something like that or something the hanged man what is this that someone's gonna i'm getting like maybe a sweater or um, like a friendship bracelet or like a, what is, what is it, a promise ring or something like that. Like a sweater, a nice pair of jeans. Maybe like a neck brace. Like I'm, these are not not ever, not everything. Not This is not everything someone's going to buy you. I'm like, pick, I'm telling y'all options, stuff that I'm seeing. Like it's something to help you. It's something to help you. Like maybe something here that you could stress stretch in. Okay, I don't know. But um, someone's going to buy you something to help you out with like further, further support, I feel. Okay. Page of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Hangman. It's either y'all look young for your age or you're going to be dealing with someone that looks super young for their age. Like, you ask them how old they are. I'm 34. Bitch, you look, you look like you're 17. What? <laughs> What's this Page of Pentacles here for? Um, okay, somebody here is going to copy you. I feel like someone here is really inspired by you. It could be someone younger or you are someone's uh, teacher, okay? Maybe not intentionally, but someone here is going to copy you. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, they really like your style. Okay, what's this? Um, the, yeah, someone here is like watching your every move. It's almost giving me the energy of like a child looking up at somebody, trying to copy the dad or trying to copy the mom or sister or brother or aunt or uncle or cousin. Like, like they're trying to mimic you. So someone here is trying to be like you. So you're inspiring somebody. This don't feel like it's malicious. This feels like, you know, imitation is flattery here. I don't say that all the time because, I, you know, I'll say that all the time. But here, imitation is flattery. Like this person really wants to be like you. They look up to you. Who is this Page of Pentacles here for um, Taurus in October? Who is this? 
may look up to you. Uh, we got the Ten of Swords. Um, could be someone here that's very smart. This person's very excellent. This person could actually be a savant. Okay, so maybe they have like a low IQ or maybe they're like not intellectually inclined, but they have a specific skill. Okay, they're good at like one specific thing, like really good. Okay, um, but yeah, someone here really likes you. Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. Could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. It's giving me Gemini. Okay, because it's giving me like imitator, which is um, Gemini is good at mimicking. That, that's like a good, that's like a um, a good Gemini trait is like mimicking. Somebody here is able to mimic like, I don't know, like accents or something like that. I don't know. Somebody here wants to be like you though, but it looks good. Okay. Don't feel offended. It feels like a compliment. Like this person don't feel like a threat. Like they genuinely, they don't want to, they don't want to take your thing. They want to like, they're, you, you inspire somebody. Okay. Let's move on to Gemini. Gemini, we're going to say that you are 21. Oh, wow. I heard something. I heard something, Gemini. Gemini, I heard something. I heard uh, somebody misses you. They miss you. Could be an Aries or something. Somebody misses you. What's the good stuff coming Gemini's way in October? I'm hearing the best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. One with a collar, turtleneck. That's the color. So I don't know, some of y'all could be wearing a striped sweater or getting a striped sweater. What's the good stuff coming Gemini's way in October? Um, you're going to be glad that you're finally done with something or you're going to be glad that something here is over. It feels like something's been a long time coming. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Okay, we got the Five of Cups. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, five of Cups and we got the Emperor. So I feel like some of y'all are tired of telling somebody like what to do. You're tired of telling somebody how to treat you. Like, just treat me right, dummy. Why I got to talk to you 50 million times? Like, you you understand my language. Why, why are you acting like you stupid for? So I feel like you're tired of talking to somebody. Okay, the, if, if it may finally get through to somebody's head. Like, I don't know. Something may finally get through to somebody. What is this for Gemini? The good stuff coming Gemini's way in October. Five of Cups, the Emperor. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries. I feel like Gemini, the good stuff coming your way. Some of y'all could be your own boss and uh, or, or y'all making the rules or y'all in charge. Some of y'all could be getting promoted. Y'all are in charge in October. Like I'm getting like, ain't nobody going to boss you around and tell you shit to do. Ain't, can't nobody tell you nothing, Gemini. Okay, I, I feel like um, I does what I please as I live by the mother effing pools and the trees is broke so dusty disgust me or something like that i don't know it feels like you do as you please like you come in this you come in this you come in this spot and then you just leave like like a like a lightning bolt like i feel like ain't can't nobody like tell you nothing <laughs> in october like you, you do as you please like you walk in all right i walk out i'm done today you know i don't know it feels like you have um you got options or i don't know you just in your boss stuff you in your emperor vibe okay you on your boss stuff okay What's this Five of Cups here for um, for Gemini? The good stuff coming Gemini's way in October. What's this Five of Cups? Five of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, so I, I see you releasing something. Like th this could either be a person, a relationship, or you're releasing some kind of emotions regarding a personal relationship. Like you're releasing the feelings. So if you've been feeling down in the dumps or something like that, I see you releasing that. Like you're getting out of morning energy or you're getting out of um, some kind of really sad, somber um, energy is what I feel. Five of Cups, the Lovers. What's the Emperor here for Gemini? The good stuff coming Gemini's way in October. What's the Emperor for the good stuff coming Gemini's way in October? I'm getting like new jeans or new pants. The Emperor, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all could be spending some money on like new things, like new, uh, I'm getting material items for you. Now, I feel like you and somebody are gonna end up in a relationship. I'm getting like you and this Aries or you and this, um, this boss-like person. You and somebody are going to end up in a relationship. Okay, some of y'all may, uh, some of y'all could actually end up living together with this person. You and somebody. For some reason, I keep hearing broke, just so dusty, disgust me. Broke bitch is so dusty, disgust me. So I'm hearing, um, what I'm getting off of that is like, maybe, maybe y'all were like, maybe y'all were in the trenches together or y'all like, or you leveled up with this person. Like, it seems like one each, one of y'all or both of y'all didn't have a lot of money. And then there was like some kind of level up. But um, I, I feel like you and somebody are going to end up together. 
Emperor and the Nine of Pentacles. And for Aries and Taurus, like for the first two Zodiac signs that I've done so far, I was getting strong, very strong relationship energies for Aries. That was like the first thing I said for them because I felt that very strong. So some of y'all, this could be um, someone has Aries in their chart as a boss or y'all got Aries in your chart. But I see you ended up in a relationship with a person here. Who is this for Gemini? Um, the, uh, the good stuff coming their way in October. What is this they're going to end up in a relationship? Who is this that they're going to end up in a relationship with? They're older than you. They're older. We got the Six of Wands. Um, they, they could be much older than you. They're very accomplished and they're very successful. Uh, they're, they're a go-getter. So if you're dealing with some bum, this ain't it. It's not that person. They, they, um, they got their life together. They are confident. They're a boss or they're, they're highly successful. They're affluent. They're employed or they got money or something like that. So if you asking if it's Billy Bob, that's, that's, you know, taking you to the dollar menu and talking about how we ain't never going to be not, like, it's not that person. No, this is, this is, um, this is Bill Gates, not Billy Bob, Bill Gates. Okay. Or Beyonce. Okay. This is what this is. Not literally, but you know what I mean? In terms of like status, no shade to like the Billy Bobs out there, but this ain't Billy Bob. <laughs> this ain't that. The Emperor, Nine of Pentacles, the uh, Six of Wands. Yeah, this person gets whatever they want. So this person may be a little bit spoiled. They ain't never been told no in their life. Or if, if they've been told no, they just go out and get it themselves. Like they're very um, self-sufficient. They don't ask for permission. They don't ask for help either. They don't need to. Um, they don't really need people. They, 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 got, they, they got their own stuff together, okay? Someone here got their own stuff together. Okay, tell me more of the good stuff coming Gemini's way in October. The good stuff coming Gemini's way in October. The good stuff coming Gemini's way in October. I'm getting someone here about a Pisces. A Pisces or someone may invite you to like a wedding or a get together or something like that. Or someone here may ask you out, maybe like on a date, maybe to be with them. Or somebody may ask you if you want a relationship or something like that. I'm getting like a wedding bells or something like that. Like say someone wants to take you to a wedding or take you somewhere. Like you may get an invite or an evite. Okay, we got the seven of wands. Um, let me let me get it. Let me actually get an energy on that for Gemini. What is this about? Gemini gets an evite or invite somewhere, or to like someone's church or someone's chapel. Like I feel like somebody wants to invite you to like their church to like listen to the word, or they want to invite you into their religion or something like. Like somebody here wants to invite you into something. What is this for um, Gemini? The good stuff coming their way in October. Someone wants to invite them. Give me clarity on that. Somebody wants to invite them to like a what? It feels like it's an event. Um, we have the fool. It could be like an Aries. It's giving me like an event. Like a, it feels like wedding bells, church bells, a pastor, limousine or something like that. Like it, it feels like an all white party or something. Like it feels like something, something. Someone invites you to this. Okay, we got the fool. Um, I don't know. I'm getting something here about September, like church bells, wedding bells. Like you're getting invited to the, like your phone could be ringing. I'm getting ringing sounds. And then we got the, okay. What's the seven of wands here for, um, for Gemini? The good stuff coming their way in October. What's the seven of wands? You're feeling very generous. Now that's not the meaning of the seven of wands, but I'm getting that. You're feeling very generous. Yeah. I feel like you're, you're feeling like you want to help somebody. You want to help this person or you want to help a person come in your way. Okay. So we got the seven of wands and the three of wands. That's the four of wands, which is what? An invitation, celebration, foundation. Seven, three. Yeah, I see you celebrating. I see you celebrating. This could be you celebrating some kind of new relationship you're in or celebrating something. Like I see you breaking some kind of mold. What's this seven and three of wands here for Gemini? The good stuff coming their way in October. Seven of wands, three of wands. And we have the death card. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio soon or an Aries. I see you explaining something to a person here. Explaining something to somebody. This is death. Seven, three. I don't know. I see you kind of celebrating some sort of new beginning with a person here. What's this new beginning here for Gemini that, that they're celebrating? What's this new? Like, like you're breaking something. You're breaking the mold or you're breaking something. Um, Page of Pentacles. Or I don't know. I just see somebody celebrating with you. And I'm getting something here about like maybe like on Friday the 13th or the 13th of something like a fr like Friday the 13th. I don't know if you're watching like horror movies or what, but I just see you celebrating. Um, some of y'all could know a Scorpio. You're celebrating a Scorpio's birthday or something like that. But yeah, that's what I got for you, Gemini. That's what I got. Okay, I feel like also you guys have options. 
in the month of October. You guys have a lot of options. I feel like I keep hearing the message move over. Like you're moving over maybe to, maybe to make room for something or, or give, give something some space to grow. You're making room for something in your life or you need to make room for something in your life. Um, it feels like you're allowing something in or you're letting something back in. Like move over, make room for this. Make room for the new. I'm telling you, I see some of y'all entering something new. This could be like, this could be a new friendship, but I'm getting a new relationship with some of y'all. A friendship is a type of relationship, um, but it could be like romantic as well. Like you're moving over, making room for the new. You're making room for something to grow. Like you're you're allowing something to be successful here. Like you're giving it space so that it can grow. Okay, so you're, you know, you're still being attentive, but you're not stalking it. You're not watching it. You're not waiting for like water to boil, watching the pot. Like you're just letting it do its thing or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I see you celebrating some new beginning for real. Let me clarify. Let me just get one more on that. What is this new beginning here that Gemini will be celebrating in, um, in October for the good stuff? What's this, what's this new beginning that Gemini will be celebrating in October? What's this new beginning? It's like with the Aries or something like that, or I see you celebrating a new beginning. It could be another person in your life, a new beginning, the Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords. Okay, so this could be like moving. This could be like moving homes. What is this new beginning that Gemini will be celebrating? The Six of Pentacles. You're receiving really good news. It's about something that you're involved in. You're receiving really good news. Very good news. Um, it, it feels like it's really happy. Like these are really happy times for you, Gemini, in October. Okay, let's move on to uh, Cancer. Cancer, we're going to say that you are 31 minutes. And we'll say um, 48 seconds. Okay, Spirit. Um, oh. Cancer, be careful not to get scammed in the month of October. Be careful not to get scammed. Likewise, thought, don't be dealing with no damn uh, scammers in October because, you know, some of them scammers be looking like they got all that money and then next, you know, they in jail the next day. So don't be dealing with no scammers and be mindful of scams. Okay, scammers, people trying to steal your information, all that. Get rich quick schemes, like just, just be mindful. Okay, what you got for um, cancer? The good stuff coming cancer's way in October. I'm getting candy, so sweets, a sweet tooth. <clears throat> What's the good stuff coming uh, Cancer's way in October? You guys are making headway in some kind of field or some kind of career that you're in. You're making headway. Uh, you may find some success in it. This is like a harvest. Okay, some of y'all could be um, reaping the rewards of your hard work, reaping the benefits. Okay, you're finding some kind of career success. I feel like y'all are reaching career goals as well. It feels like you're at the top of your game and you're climbing the ladder towards success. That's what I feel like. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. What is this for Cancer? Also, you have options to choose from cancer. So like regarding your career, whichever way you want to take something, you can choose like it's a choice. It's ultimately your choice. And it feels like whatever you choose, um, each path proves to be very lucrative or very abundant. So you really can't make a wrong decision here. Um, what's the seven of pentacles here for? Um, I'm getting a Taurus energy here, cancer. Okay, I, I think relationships are very strong for the month of October. I mean, I think it's Libra season. Libra is like relationships all that stuff. I don't know what keeps falling out the window. Um, some of y'all could end up in a relationship. I said that for Aries, Taurus, Gemini, now you. Okay, so I'm just throwing that out there because I'm hearing that as well for you, Cancer. You may have all that in your chart. Um, but yeah, what's the Seven of Pentacles here for Cancer? The good stuff coming Cancer's way in October. Feels like someone here is going to give to you someone or something here is going to give to you like what you've invested time into and what you've planted your seeds they're growing like they're finally something some kind of fruit is ready to be like it's ripe enough it's ready to be taken off the tree it's ready to be taken off the, the bushes um something here is ready to feed you the way that you've been feeding into it so you've been nurturing something it's it's it seems like you're getting nurtured back here what's this um seven of pentacles here for cancer you're getting positive results for Cancer. The good stuff coming their way in October. Seven of Pentacles for Cancer. The good stuff. Seven of Pentacles and the wheel. Yep, good luck. Good results. Sorry, my nose is itching for y'all now. Um, so now I'm getting some kind of alimony, something about like a law, a legal thing. A, a, like you're winning some kind of... Um, I'm getting there's like something about a clause. Like there's a clause somewhere and that's how you win some kind of case. So I'm getting like this could be a settlement as well. It feels like fortune is um, the wheel of fortune turns in your favor, Cancer. Okay, so you're getting good news 
like you won something i feel like i feel like you did the work though like you got the receipts you did whatever you had to do so something here um it looks very beneficial for you seven of pentacles the wheel of fortune i also feel like cancer out of something like this could be like a lawsuit something that you're winning where you're getting your earnings you're getting you're getting what's due to you um something here it feels like you get a friend out of it so like let's say let's say this is like a let's say this is like a, a lawsuit or a case a legal case a legal matter like you walk out richer and you walk out with the best friend by your side or a friend for life so like you get your cake and to, you get to have your cake and eat it too kind of okay so you don't walk out empty-handed in any sense of the in any sense of the way like any sense of the word okay you get more than you bargained for actually the harvest is like sweet the harvest is good the harvest she good she great okay seven of pentacles the wheel of fortune what else do you got for um what else is the good stuff here for cancer in october the good stuff coming for cancer in october i'm getting something about your genetic makeup something about your genetics your genes your genetics you could be looking up into dna or your genes and maybe finding out more information maybe finding out more about like where you're from you guys could be like um putting like sending in like your your a sample of your dna or spit to like what is it 22 and me or something like that or whatever like to figure out like where you're from where you originate like what you're made up of okay what's the good stuff coming cancer's way in october um you're going to be getting over something so if some of y'all have been experiencing a breakup you're going to be getting over that so praise be the lord praise jesus <laughs> okay uh, i'm not a cancer but praise be the lord that you're going to get over something because man i know how hard that is okay it's never easy i got cancer in my chart that, that may be why i'm overly emotional too so that's what I'm saying. Praise be. Uh, thank God. <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy for you, everything else, but I'm happy for you regarding that. What's this Nine of Pentacles here for Cancer? The good stuff coming Cancer's way in October. The Nine of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. The Five. Okay, there's some good news regarding your money. Yeah, some good news. So the Five of Pentacles. Um, this is this in this is in regarding this is in regards to a fight or an argument. Okay, there's some kind of good news regarding your money. This is a, this is a regarding a fight or an argument. Okay, Five of Pentacles is bad news regarding money. This is like financial lack or scarcity. Um, this is like poverty. It's it's sickness. It's ailments. But it feels like this is in regards to an argument that you are getting good news regarding your money. So I don't take this meaning to mean it by itself. Like it feels like this is good news. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting some kind of child support coming in. Some kind of alimony. It feels like someone has been doing something dirty on your name, Cancer. Someone here has been digging up some dirt or doing dirty things, you know, slandering your name or putting you through the mud, throwing you, you know, throwing your name through the dirt, running your name through the mud, whatever. I said that all wrong. Running your name through the dirt, through the mud. Okay. You know, throwing you under the bus. Like someone here has been really, something has not been kind to you. Someone has not been kind to you. Um, you're getting your justice and you're getting your karma. I see some money coming in. Okay. This is some good news. It is slow, but it's good news. Okay. It's something good nine of pentacle knight of pentacles and the five of pentacles yeah this is in regards to some argument or some relationship here where there's like insecurities lack fighting lots of stuff what's this fighting thing this 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 thing for cancer this um there's some fighting here arguments regarding this five of pentacles can you give me a card on that please um the four of cups yeah you've been fighting a lot with somebody about money some of y'all someone here is not happy about your good news that could be what the fights are surrounding as well Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. For some of y'all, it feels like you're not struggling anymore. And someone here is mad that you're not asking for help. Or maybe you don't need them no more. I don't know. But it feels like you figure something out, okay? Okay. Um, let me get one more short thing. Give me one more good stuff. One more good thing here coming for Cancer in October. One more good thing coming to Cancer in October. Oh, somebody's checking you out. I'm getting someone giving you like the one over, like a look. Like, damn, that cancer looks sexy as fuck. Shit. Can I get your number? Sure. My number 911. Okay. Cause I got a man. Or cause I got a cause I, you know, I'm a woman of God. I'm a man of God, okay? Or sure, I can give you my digits. You want my bank? You want my routing number? Or you want my you want my uh, account number? Cause you're gonna deposit me a check, right? No, I'm kidding. That's the good stuff coming cancer's way in October. Give me one more thing for cancer okay we have the world card i don't know why i'm getting testing positive what is this testing positive here for cancer the good stuff coming cancer's way testing positive yeah i feel like something here is a part of your genetic makeup 
um, I, don't, I don't know what this is like, positive, positive for, what is this for cancer? Testing positive for what? And, and um, I don't know, it seems like you also share the same gene as somebody else, or you also share the same thing. You and somebody are like tied together. This is like um, you and somebody both have something that ties you two together. So I don't know if this is like a blood type or what, you both have O negative or something like that or universal, whatever. What is this testing positive here? The Ace of Pentacles, this could be like an exam. I don't know, it feels like you have the gene for something, Cancer. You have the gene for it. You have the gene. I'm not a doctor, so I'm, not, I'm trying to see what that means. You have the gene. I don't know, you have the gene. Some kind of gene, you have it. I don't think it's bad though, because that's coming up as the good stuff. So that might be a good thing. That could be why something here is popping up. So regarding, uh, regarding this could be an, ail an ailment that you already know that you have. Um, feels like there's some kind of flare up. Like it, it does feel like you know the way to get better or something like that. But um, I don't know, it feels like you have the gene. Let me, let me see if I get one more card on this. What is the gene here for cancer? Disclaimer, I'm not no doctor. Okay, so don't sue me, please. Um, what, what do you, um, what, what is this? Cancer has the gene. The Ace of Swords. I don't know. Like, it feels good, though. It feels like you have it, too. <laughs> like, it feels good, though. Like, like you want this gene. So, I, I guess it's a, it feels like a good thing. This feels like a good thing. Like, you like you would want this. Like, it's, it's rare. It's uncommon. Maybe only, like, one in a million have it, and you do. So, like, you're, like, a rare specimen. You know, side note, I felt special. I went to the dentist, like, you know, a year ago. They told me I was a special breed because I have a more aligned jaw. So I'm a, I'm a new breed. Some of y'all could be finding out that you're a new breed. Okay, some of y'all maybe can't grow wisdom teeth. Maybe y'all are a part like of a new species. That's what I found out at least. So maybe y'all, um, I don't know, but it feels like good news. So good for you, I guess. Uh, I, I'm not a doctor. I don't really know the terminology or what, what it is, but that's what I got. It feels good though. It's coming out as the good stuff. So... Yeah, I don't know, it just feels like something's hereditary. Like you want this gene. Cause then that means something beneficial for you. Like that means you can have kids or that means you can do something. I don't know. Go to your physician. Don't go to me. Okay, um, let's do Leo. Hold on, let me get a bite of something cause I'm hungry real quick, hold on. One sec. I made some pasta. He be feeding me pasta and lobster. One second, y'all. Let me just get off camera and do this. Hold on. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I've been eating snacks when I come up on here. I still haven't figured out the perfect snack for me yet. What the hell? Did y'all see that? Hold on. Okay. Um, Leo, we're gonna say that you are 43 minutes. Say 47 seconds. I'm hearing something. Leo, I'm hearing that Callie song. Y'all know Callie? Callie. I think she's a Leo too. I'm hearing I got hoes in different area codes. So somebody got hoes in different area codes. So you got options. I hope you ain't cheating, but I mean, it feels like you got hoes in different area codes. So I guess that's good. Let's see. Um, What's the good stuff coming Leo's way in October spirit, please? That's like 10 cards. What's the good stuff coming Leo's way? in October. Okay, we got the star. I feel like uh, Leo, some of y'all could be dealing with Aquarius. Some of y'all could, um, I feel like some of y'all could be getting into a relationship and you're not telling nobody about it. And I feel like that's good. Protect this relationship, protect whatever it is that you're doing. If you're getting into a relationship with somebody, this could be like one of your friends, um, don't tell anybody. I feel like you're doing something, Leo, and you're not going to tell anybody about it. And that's a blessed idea. That's a good thing. This is something good. You want to protect it. So do the right thing, which is keeping your mouth hush hush about it. Okay. 
We got the star. Some of y'all gonna be quiet while you chase your dreams. What's the star here for um for Leo? The good stuff coming um the good stuff coming Leo's way in uh in October. What's the star? The good stuff coming Leo's way in October. The star, we got the two of wands. It feels like you're getting what you want out of a situation. I'm also getting, for some of y'all where you get like a positive test result, I, the star card is like healing as well. But again, I'm not a physician, so take that with a grain of salt as a disclaimer. I got a similar message for cancer about like them getting something. But the star is coming out. That's like, um, I feel like you're getting your results. Uh, maybe something here is coming up clean or something here is coming up good. So you're, you're, in, good, you're in good hands. And if you do have something, whatever this is, um, the star represents healing as well or rejuvenation, replenishment. Okay, what's the star? The two of wands. What's the star here for Leo? The good stuff coming Leo's way in October. What's the star? Some of y'all ended up in a relationship. I also see some of y'all reaching your goals. Like this was like a long-term thing. You're reaching something that you set out to do like a while ago, or this was supposed to be a long-term goal, but you made it a short-term thing. Um, we got the star and we got, yeah, I see you chasing your dreams. This is like you're getting the lifestyle that you're getting. The It feels like you're, this is like a manifestation. It feels like. Now, I don't know if you're getting this in October necessarily. It feels like maybe it's culminating, but um, you're getting the whatever that fill in the blank of your dreams. I see some of y'all are going to chase your dreams, literally. Some of y'all feel like you're getting new friends, you're getting a relationship, you're getting uh, people, you're getting, po this is, this feels like positive affirmations as well. You're getting confirmations, like you're getting signs. So, you know, pay, pay attention to the signs. What is this that Leo's getting the fill in the blank of their dreams? What is this? The what of their dreams is Leo getting in October? The star, the knight of cups, the ace of cups. Okay, this could be the relationship of your dreams for some of y'all. For some of y'all, a lot of stuff is happening in your dreams. For some of y'all, I'm getting um, potentially fertility because I'm getting maybe like a positive test result or a positive something. Like you have something in your genes or in your DNA. I'm hearing like, yep, you guessed it. Like you have something in your genes or in your, your DNA. So something applies to you too. Like you, you get to reap some kind of rewards or benefits too. It feels like, Leo, there's like a plausible outcome to something here. I kept, maybe y'all got cancer in your chart or Leo, cancer, cusper, because I was getting a test result for them as well, but it felt positive, felt like good. This, this could be fertility though with this Ace of Cups. This could be like pregnancy, like positive pregnancy results. I just don't know why it's coming out that way. The Star, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups. What's this two of wands? Some of y'all could be gaining weight as well. Some of you guys could be dating an Aries soon or in a relationship with somebody. What's this two of wands here? Yeah, I feel like some of y'all are going to experience a new beginning with someone. So you're going to experience something from like the initial moments, like when it's being built from the ground up. So like this is you meeting somebody before they become a star or you uh, dating somebody before they become rich. Like this is like you're at the beginning stages. Okay, so you can help somebody. You can be involved in this. Like you can take part in something here. What's this two of wands here for? Um, some of y'all could be taking a trip somewhere to Vegas as well. I'm getting like the strips, the um, the strip or something like that. What's the two of wands here for um, for Leo? The good stuff coming Leo's way in October. I'm also getting someone here could be getting out of prison. So I don't know if there's a Leo getting out of prison or if you got somebody in prison, a loved one, they're getting out this month or something. Two of wands, the death card. Some of y'all getting Aries, Scorpio. Feels like this person has like dark hair. I'm getting Libra. Some of y'all could be leaving a relationship or a situation behind with somebody. It feels like you were getting dark vibes from somebody. It feels like somebody here was, um, I don't know, you didn't know if you could trust them very much. So I see you leaving a relationship. What's this death card here for? Um, I just see you chasing your dreams. Like, you're not going to let anything stop you. Like, it doesn't matter if you have something or it doesn't matter if, like, you guys have an ailment or whatever this is. Like, it feels like nothing here is going to get in your way. Like, it only pushes you further. It only makes you want to accomplish something more or chase something, like, go harder. So, whatever this is, like, some of y'all, I don't know. Like, I'm getting something here about, like, a recessive gene, a recessive gene or whatever like that. Like, there's some kind of gene here. I don't know. But um, it, it feels this feels very similar to, to the end, the very end of Cancer's reading. So, 
maybe that reading would help you. But um, it feels like you're not gonna let something stop you. Like it doesn't matter. Like I'm still gonna get there. This doesn't matter. This doesn't stop nothing. This in fact pushes me further. So I see something giving you the motivation or the gusto here. Two of Wands, the death card. What's this death card here for Leo? In October, the good stuff coming their way. Um, the death card. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, I'm getting like, some of y'all could uh, struggle with dark thoughts as well. Now, it feels like it's a direct result of something that you're doing. Some dark thoughts that you're having. It's a direct result of like something that you're doing, which means that you can stop like at any point. Like you're, you don't have to think this way. Okay, like you are in control of your mind, so you can just stop. Like you have full control. Two of Wands, the Death card, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting struggling with like dark thoughts, negativity. Okay, but it feels like you are in full control of your body, your emotions, your mind. So just master your mind is what it feels like. Give me one more uh, good stuff coming towards Leo in October. Give me another good stuff. The good stuff coming towards Leo in October. You're going to lean more into something here, Leo. So if this is like a passion, you're going to lean more into your passion. If this is like a project, you're going to be leaning more into a project. Like you're going to be leaning in more. So trusting a little bit more, having a little bit more faith. Okay, the fool. What's the fool for Leo? The good stuff coming their way in October. You have options. You have options. The fool and the devil. Yeah, I see you leaning into something a lot more. This could be a calling. You may have a passion for something. This could be like the... Okay, wow. I don't know if I should say that. Like the dark arts or something like that. Or I'm not going to say the dark arts. I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say um, maybe like magic or, or like taboo stuff. Some of y'all have a passion for something and y'all are leaning into something a little bit more. The fool and the devil. This feels like magic. And maybe like manipulation. So like magic is technically manipulation. I'm not a magic reader, so I don't really know what this is. But <laughs> the fool and the devil. What is this for Leo? The good stuff coming their way in October. The fool, the devil, the hermit. I don't know. This is like, I don't know if you're, Le I don't know if you're like, you're relying on your shadow a little bit more. Or you're relying on like your inner darkness a little bit more. Um, this is like you getting acquainted, more acquainted with yourself. Some of you, I don't know if you're focused on like astrology, like Lilith, Black Moon Lilith. Um, dark feminine, dark masculine versus light feminine, light masculine. Like, I don't know. It feels like you're tapping into something a little bit darker, Leo. Like your primal instinct or your urges. What's this devil here for Leo? The good stuff coming their way in October, the devil. Yeah, okay, the devil and the king of pentacles. This could be, um, you could be dealing with a king pen. Some of y'all are dealing with a heavy hitter, okay? Some of y'all are dealing with someone here that's like a, a major, like a, a, like, I don't know, this is like a game, this feels like a major player in a game. Like, you're getting into contact with someone here that's like a big deal. We got Virgo and we got the devil card. The devil, the king of pentacles. What's this devil here for Leo? I don't know, I see you practicing something. And it feels like it's good news, though. Or you're practicing for something. Now, I don't want to say dark arts because that sounds dark. Like, I don't I don't know what this is necessarily, though. This feels like it could be, like, I don't know, like, uh, magic or affirmations or spiritual work. Like, you're tapping into something. I don't know, it almost feels like, Leo, uh, someone's helping you unlock your power. Like, someone gave you something. Someone gave you the reins, and now you're, like, taking control, or, like, you're in control of something. Like, it feels like something here was passed down to you from, like, or passed down, like, generation to generation to generation. Some of y'all could be breaking generational curses as well. I don't know. I don't know about that energy. Um, kind of getting that, though. I was picking up on, like, dark thoughts, like, dark brooding thoughts, or, like, dark stuff. Like tapping into like the dark. Or like the shadow side or something like that. I don't know. Maybe like your subconscious. I don't know. But maybe, you know, let me know in October. Okay, y'all can watch for your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, some of y'all like, I don't do that. I would never, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so then, then, then don't. Don't take the message if it's not yours. Okay, let's move on to Virgo. 
Virgo, we're going to say that you are 54 minutes. And we'll say um, 59 seconds. Um, Virgo, I'm hearing something here about you've got people looking at you like you're a cash cow, which means that you got money in October. The second thing I'm also getting is that um, I don't know if it's going to happen in October. Some of y'all could just be like initiating this this education or whatever, but some of y'all are going to be doctors. Okay, y'all, some of y'all could be going to school to be a doctor. You're going to be a doctor. Like, um, you're going to be it. Okay, is what I feel like. You're going to be it. It's one thing to go to school, go to school for something and then, you know, fail or not become it. You're going to be a doctor, some of y'all. What's the good stuff coming uh, Virgo's way in October? What's the good stuff coming Virgo's way in October? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, they surf the web a lot and they're they're an intellectual. Okay, I'm getting the World Wide Web. They're like obsessed with like um, the World Wide Web or like finding things, like findings, discovering stuff. What's the good stuff coming uh, Pisces way in October? The good stuff coming, I said Pisces, the good stuff coming Virgo's way in October. The good stuff coming Virgo's way in October. Okay, we got the Knight of Wands. Okay, somebody wants you. This I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I'm also getting um, Aries, Leo, Sag. It feels like they're horny. I'm getting Sagittarius. Uh, somebody here wants you. Somebody here also may want to make you their wife or their husband, okay? Um, but I'm getting someone here is having really horny, horny thoughts about you, okay? Very horny. Okay, what's this Knight of Wands here for um, Virgo? You, someone's here is someone here is having like dark thoughts about you, um, Virgo. Some of y'all could have Aries or Leo or Libra in your chart. Uh, someone cannot forget about you. You are imprinted in somebody's mind. Okay, so I don't know if y'all are into spells or stuff like that. I'm not a spell reader, but I'm getting the message. If y'all, I don't know, some of y'all, if y'all put something on somebody or you want somebody to be, to be obsessed with you, um, it seems like it's working. <laughs> Whatever you, if you did something or if you, if you, if you just didn't, if you didn't put nothing on somebody and if you just, um, if you if you just like affirmed it like i want somebody like i don't know if it's still, it seems like whatever this is it works okay um that may be what i was picking up on for leo because for leo i was getting like dark thoughts and dark stuff and i was getting like darker like like dark dark magic or primal stuff like this could be like love spells um obsession stuff or whatever this is but if some of y'all listen to those affirmations or whatever that you know it feels like someone here is it's gonna work like someone here is obsessed with you they want you okay so be careful with that stuff if you don't know what you're doing because, you know, it seems like you're getting what you want. It works. I'm turning it this way so that it doesn't have the glare. What's this Knight of Wands here for um, Virgo? The good stuff coming Virgo's way in October. What's this Knight of Wands? Yeah, they're, someone's horny for you. Knight of Wands and the Fool. Somebody wants a relationship with you, Virgo. Someone here could be in their 30s. Someone wants a relationship with you. This could be around the time that you're ending something with somebody else or you're ending a relationship with someone else. We got the sun. This could be a Taurus or a Leo. Uh, someone here is going to flirt with you. I, Virgo, I literally feel like somebody wants to make a baby with you. Somebody here wants to like have have a kid with you, have a family. Somebody here wants to flirt with you, do the dirty, do the nasty, all that. Wow. We got on the back. We got the devil. Oh, yeah. Somebody here wants you. Well, if y'all put something on somebody, <laughs> it works or it worked. They're going to flirt with you. They're, they're, they're going to... You, you, you took a step towards them, they're going to they flirt back. Like, they're going to make a move, okay? If some, if there has been some inactivity, um, they're going to come back or they're going to flirt back, okay? So it feels like you put it out there, the intention is set, you're going to see some movement, okay? So whatever you did, okay, let's let's pull, let's pull another message, okay? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't do that stuff, so, you know, I don't know about that. I don't know. Maybe I'm picking up on something different, but that's what I got. What's the good stuff? What else is the good stuff coming Virgo's way in October? I'm hearing ask and you shall receive. What's the good stuff coming um, Virgo's way in October? You could be dealing with an Aries soon. The good stuff coming towards um, Virgo in October. We have the four of wands. Some of y'all are gonna take care of somebody. This could be somebody's kid or somebody's sick parent. Um, what's the okay you're gonna hear that they're not together no more someone here is not together no more if you're wondering why somebody's not in a relationship I feel like you're gonna hear that two people have broken up they've separated they're not together no more so I, I don't know if you're I don't know if you if you wanted something I don't know that that may be good news to you Virgo I don't know they're not they're not dating no more they're not friends no more they're not together this could be an Aries someone here is not dating someone no longer 
this person here is single or they're, they're not in a relationship. So someone here is available for the taking is what I feel like. Four of Wands and the Magician. Yeah, I'm literally getting someone here to put some spell work or did some spell work. Okay, and I'm not a spell reader for real. I'm literally not. Like, I don't talk about that stuff, but I'm seeing it. Like, somebody here did some spell work to break some two people two, two people up. Um, what's this Four of Wands here for the good stuff coming um, Virgo's way? And I'm getting something legal goes in your favor as well. Some of y'all, whatever you said, if you just spoke it, if you were chanting Virgo or whatever you did, it feels like you did something. I'm going to be honest. It feels like y'all did something. Like, I don't know if it's spells or if y'all was just t chanting manifesting or just talking out your ass but be careful what you say because virgo you are mercury you're a powerful manifester okay you are the magician literally mercury ruled okay um if you if you asking like you ask the gods bam you get your answer in october like something's coming in okay um this feels like something that you did something that you said you spoke it into existence it's it's um it's coming in like in october four of wands the magician don't play with that if you don't know what you're doing don't play with none of that if you don't know what you're doing okay I don't play with that period because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't want to know what I'm doing. I don't want to play with it. Don't play with something if you don't know what you're doing because it's just serious. Something here is not no game. Okay, so Four of Wands, the Magician. What's this Four of Wands here for? Um, some of y'all hearing something about a Libra. A Libra misses you. What's this Four of Wands for Virgo? And um, I'm getting some of y'all admiring some, uh, some sort of artwork here. Virgo, some of y'all are admiring a piece of art, like a mural or something, maybe something that you painted. Okay, I, I see that you're literally watching your dreams come to life. Like you're literally seeing things or seeing something manifest right before your very eyes. You are a very powerful manifester in October. Powerful. Be mindful not to go on like a power trip because it kind of feels like you say something, you want it, you got it, Virgo. Feels like you said something and then you let it go. The universe is done. The universe gonna give it. Like it's that's that's what it's like. It literally feels like that. Like you say it, it, ha it happens. Now not not everything, but also just be careful what you wish for. Okay, what's this four of wands here for Virgo? The good stuff coming um, Virgo's way in October. For some of y'all, I'm hearing you're gonna end up in like magazines. Okay, so I don't know if some of y'all are trying to manifest some kind of fame or if y'all if y'all are on that path of like trying to get your face in the tabloids or trying to get something out there, but um, some of y'all gonna manifest something that you want. Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, some of y'all is dealing with an Aries. What is this about this for Virgo? What's this magician here for Virgo? The, um, the good stuff coming their way in October. What's this magician for Virgo? The magician and the Three of Wands. I'm gonna get an Aries here. Clarify this magician here for Virgo. The good stuff coming their way. Some of y'all, I'm getting a Pisces. Um, you're getting what you want out of a situation. So if you, I keep getting the same message Virgo. I might have to just go to a next sign because this is getting repetitive. Um, I'm gonna pick up on something else, but if y'all want to manifest a relationship with someone, I see you getting that, okay? Or some kind of good news. It seems like you're getting that, okay, Virgo? Like you, you know what you're doing, some of y'all. What else do you got for Virgo? The good stuff coming their way in October. Give me one more thing for Virgo, the good stuff. Okay, we have the Six of Swords and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Someone's gonna help you. Okay, if there's somewhere that you're trying to get to, someone here is gonna help you. Um, someone here is gonna befriend you first, okay? So you're gonna be attracting a friend, a friendship. They're gonna befriend you first and then they're gonna help you get there. Someone here is gonna take you somewhere, literally, like maybe physically. Someone here is gonna, someone here, something here is gonna guide you, Virgo. So you are heavily guided. My, the Six of Swords is also my Spirit Guides card. Okay, you are heavily guided, you are divinely protected, and you are going to be uh, watched over and like uh, shielded in October. Okay, so wherever it is that you're trying to go, you're going to be steered in the right direction to meet the right people, to, to, to harp on the right experiences, the right opportunities to be like, you're, you're going to meet your manifestation or something here. You're gonna, it's like you're meeting your destiny right on time. So you're right on track and you're going to keep being on track. You're being guided. So just, just follow your intuition and just listen. You're going to be sent little helpers. Okay, like let's say there's a big goal you're trying to accomplish. I want to move out by this XYZ. Okay, there's this real estate agent that you just run into at the supermarket. That's not no damn coincidence. As soon as you say that manifestation, you find $50 on the floor. That, that's a coincidence. As soon as you say that manifestation, you start stumbling upon random YouTube videos that are like how to manifest this or how I got my house. It's not no coincidence. 
Don't be stupid, Virgo. You're not stupid at all. Don't be dumb. Know what it is. Know that it's God or know that it's spirit and know who to thank for this. So say, 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 uh, for, for, um, say thank you in advance because something here is coming in. Okay. Some of y'all, if y'all are manifesting, if y'all are manifesting, writing stuff in your notebook, um, say thank you spirit in advance. Okay. Uh, thank you. And I know it's done. I leave it in your hands. Thank you. Just know that it's done. It's, it's literally yours already, Virgo, is what I feel like. Okay, so October feels like a very blessed month for y'all. Like y'all are, y'all, y'all working with the divine or y'all work, y'all doing something. Now, I hope it ain't nothing dark or nothing like, you know what? I ain't your parents. Do whatever the hell you want, but um, it's going to be successful. Okay, I don't care what it is. Um, it's when I was about to reprimand or scold, but I'm like, I ain't nobody, mommy or daddy. Okay, do what you want. It's your life. Um... Libra, we're going to say that you are one hour, five minutes. Hold on a minute. Let me play something real quick because I want to. One second. I feel like I want to play something real quick. Um, it's too quiet and I feel like I need sound. Hold on. One second, Libra. Please bear with me. You've been so unavailable. Now, sadly, I know why. Your heart is unobtainable. I'm watching Rick and Morty. Okay, I just need something playing in the background. I just got anxious, so I just need... I need something familiar, okay? Um, okay, we're gonna say, uh, Libra, you are one hour, six minutes, and we got, I'm gonna say 55 seconds, okay. Okay, what is the good stuff coming Libra's way in October? Happy birthday, Libra, so the good stuff is your birthday. What's the good stuff coming uh, Libra's way in October? You're going to find like a hidden gem somewhere, Libra. Like you're going to find like a hidden artifact or a hidden gem. And it feels like you're going to find it in, in the exact place that someone told you it was going to be. So some of y'all may have gotten readings before. Some of y'all, someone, someone told you like, just look over here and you're going to find it. You look over there, you're going to find exactly what you're looking for. It's going to be in the exact same spot. It's going to go down the exact same way. Like it, it, it's, it's something here is very precise. Like you were told this is going to happen in this way. So I don't know if some of y'all went to a psychic or some of y'all... I don't know what, what y'all went looking for or someone give you give you the answer to something, but um, they were not wrong. It's going to happen exactly that way, Libra. I feel like you're going to find a hidden gem exactly where someone told you it would be. So you're going to dig something up, find it. And it's like Eureka, like you have like an enlightening moment. OK, we got the nine of Pentacles. What is this for Libra? Um, you may invite someone to something or get invited to something. What's this nine of Pentacles here for Libra? Nine of Pentacles, we got the, oh, Hierophant. I was like, what is the faith card, Hierophant? Nine of Pentacles, the the Hierophant. I feel like Libra in a situation, um, you have to pray that it's gonna work. Like you just have to pray that you pray that, pray, pray to get there. Like you're gonna get there, but you have to pray. Like you have to have faith and believe in something. Okay, you have to believe that something can happen to you too and it's not just them. Like believe in it and you will see it. It feels like manifestation. So I got strong manifestation energy for Virgo and a little bit for Leo. Some of y'all could have those in your chart or be a cusper or be dealing with those signs. But um, we got the Nine of Pentacles, Hierophant. What is this for um, for Libra? I see some of y'all uh, living in the present moment. I also see some of y'all leaving a situation behind. Um, I'm hearing like I'm praying I don't get bad news. I'm praying that I don't get bad news. Some of y'all could be praying on pregnancy or praying that you get pregnant. I, I see like a pregnancy here. Nine of Pentacles, the, uh, it feels like there's something that you've been praying on. What's this Hierophant for a Libra? The good stuff coming their way in October. For some of y'all, the good stuff is you're finding that, 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 it's a similar message I got to Virgo where you're finding out that them and somebody else is no longer together no more. Like this person and them, they don't speak no more. They're not together. Okay, what's this, um, five, what's this, uh, this Hierophant here for, um, Libra? Hierophant, the Two of Swords. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Sag here. Hierophant, the Two of Swords. What is this for Libra? The um, the good stuff coming their way in October. Hierophant, the Two of Swords. What is this? Hierophant, Two of Swords, King of Swords. 
Someone here is going to be coming into your life and you're going to help this person. I don't know if you're going to be a guide for them or a mentor, but it feels like um, you're going to be the good thing for somebody in their life. Okay, Two of Swords, the King of Swords. Yeah, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I see some of y'all um, reaping uh, some rewards from like uh, from past like you're reaping rewards from past work that you've done. So this is like past, like past old benefits coming back into play for you. Uh, this feels like y'all have been pray praying for some kind of miracle or this is like a blessing that y'all have been praying on. If this is like you're, you've been praying for a child to get better, a child is sick. Uh, it feels like you're getting some manifestation. Your, your prayer is getting answered. If you've been praying on a wishing on a star or wishing on a relationship, praying for a relationship to get better with someone, um, your prayer is being answered. Your prayer is strong. Your prayer is strong. I don't know. Your prayer, prayer in general is strong. I feel like y'all been praying on something, praying on a person, praying on a somebody and praying is like chanting. That's like man, another form of manifestation. Something here is, is a work. It works is what I feel like. What's this hierophant here for? Some of y'all have been praying on, praying on a business. Some of y'all have been praying for the answers to your prayer, praying on like a, a an, an issue that you've been having. Prayer works in October. The stuff that you've been praying on you get answers or you get resolutions or, or it comes in. And I see that prayer is going to be your best friend in October. What's this um, Hierophant card here for uh, Libra? The good stuff coming their way in October. Yeah, heavy on prayer. The stuff that you've been speaking into, an, speaking into existence. Yep. The Sun card and the Hierophant. Some of y'all have been praying for justice. Some of y'all have been praying for some help. Guess what comes in? Some help in the form of a person or in the form of xyz like some y'all have been praying for it looking for the answers and here it comes in it's not a direct answer from god like oh this is your answer like you know apollo like the messenger it's like a person comes in or you see it on a youtube video or you see it in a, in a book or something like that like god works or spirit works in mysterious ways okay some of y'all feel like y'all have been wishing on something this could be a friendship y'all have been wishing for a friendship to work y'all have been wishing for a friend or somebody to come back into your life a friend that you've been missing a pet a dog okay i'm not gonna say everything's gonna come true i'm not gonna say every single miracle is gonna manifest but definitely something that you have been uh putting in your manifestation journal something that you've been wanting waiting for is coming in some of y'all this feels like a baby some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant a, a, a nice baby boy okay i feel like y'all have been wishing upon a star Hierophant, um, this this baby is gonna be a star as well. This baby gonna um, this baby gonna make some money, or they gonna make headway. This baby gonna be a star. This could be an Aquarius, <laughs> or a Leo, or a Libra. This person, this baby may grow up to be a liar though. <laughs> is what I feel. Um, we got um, Faith, Two of Swords, King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're getting something, Libra, because you never gave up. You never gave up. What's this Nine of Pentacles here for Libra? Nine of Pentacles, the good stuff coming their way in October. Um, Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Hold on. What is this for Libra? Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Clarify this for Libra. Some of you I'm getting, you're dealing with a Sag, a Capricorn, another Libra or a Virgo. I'm getting, some of y'all could be dealing with an ex, a relationship with an ex. We get like an ex-girlfriend, an ex-boyfriend. What's happening here for a Libra? What's happening here? Situation with an ex. I'm getting it could be an Aries as well. The Queen of Wands, the King of Cups. Someone here start, suddenly starts being nice to you. Um, could be an Aries. Now I have an Aries moon, so I know Aries can be very mean. Very mean, okay? I've been I've been at the good end and the bad end of some Aries, okay? Their anger. Or just their meanness. So someone here might usually be mean. Feels like they're nice now. Someone here just kind of turns nice. I don't know. It feels like things just kind of turn a new leaf for you. Like out of nowhere, Libra. A Virgo. Sorry, Virgo. No, this is Libra. Libra, yeah, Libra. Um, Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Knight of Pentacles. What is this for um a relationship for Libra and X? Queen of Wands, the King of Cups. Yeah, someone here starts being nice to you. Like, out of nowhere, they just start doing nice things for you. What's this Queen of Wands, King of Cups here for Libra? The good stuff coming their way? Yeah, someone here starts being nice. We got the King and the, the, the Queen of Cups. Literally, someone starts being nice to you out of nowhere. This feels like very nice, sweet energy. Okay? It feels like this person here is going to come towards you. This could be a Taurus. This person could be younger. 
could be an air or fire sign. They're very quick, very quick witted. Um, they like to fight. Okay. So they're a little bit aggressive and, um, but they're very quick witted and very intelligent. Okay. So I see that, that a person like that is coming for you soon or coming into you soon, Libra. Um, they're super smart. They're super uh, emotionally adept and emotionally aware. They have, I feel like this person has some sort of psychic abilities. Like they're, they're emotionally in tuned, very tapped into their intuition. Um, I'm getting like psychically aware, Libra. I don't know if they are aware of that, but um, I don't know if they, I don't know if they are aware that they have these abilities, but they are very tapped in. But yeah, that's what I got. That's what I got for you. Oh, I just realized this is reversed. That's what I got for you, Libra. Okay, I hope I called you Libra because it's for Libra. Okay, not Virgo, it's for Libra. <laughs> okay, um, let's move on to Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, we're going to say that you are one hour, 16 minutes, and we'll say 18 seconds. Okay. What's the good stuff coming Scorpio's way in October? Someone may flirt with you. What's the good stuff coming Scorpio's way in October? Um, you could be ending something with somebody, a relationship, but it feels like it's good news that you're ending this with a person. Um, I'm getting something here about like, I'm hearing Jews. So what I'm getting off of that is like somebody here may have tried to change your views at some point about like religion or something like that. You and somebody have different morals um, at a fundamental core, valid, like core, at the at, um, at, it, at something to its core, it's, it's not gonna work because you have uh, different views from somebody and somebody is not willing to like see your side. So I see you like ending something, okay? What's the good stuff coming um, Scorpio's way in October? I feel like you are going to take over some kind of world or some kind of industry, Scorpio. It's like nobody's doing what you're doing. You're going to take over somewhere, okay? It feels like you're taking over. Like some of y'all could be in a music, you're taking over the music music industry. Or you're taking something by storm, okay? Even if it's like baby steps, one day at a time or one thing at a time, you are taking something by storm. Like you're grabbing something by the throat. You're grabbing that bitch by the balls, okay? Or by, by the tits, whatever. You're taking something by storm, it doesn't matter how you're going to get there or whatever, but you just know that you're going to get there. The confidence, your confidence speaks volumes. And, and that's, I feel like that's going to lead to some sort of success, Scorpio. Okay, so keep doing, keep going that way. Keep going that way. What's the good stuff coming Scorpio's way in October? The good stuff, some of y'all could be suffering from a fever. You're going to get better. What's the good stuff coming Scorpio's way in October? I see you ending some kind of cycle or some kind of relationship with a person or just in general. Let me, we have the two of swords here, but let me clarify. What's this cycle here that's uh, Scorpio? I, like I see like you're leaving a situation behind or situations, maybe a situation ship. What is this for Scorpio? Yeah, I'm hearing, I'm hearing they're not together no more. Some of those could be an Aries. I don't know. It feels like for, for Virgo and for, for Leo, was it for Virgo? And I think Leo, Leo, Virgo, Libra a little bit, I think or maybe two of those signs, the good stuff coming for them was that two people are not in a relationship no more. So I don't know how that impacts you. Maybe, maybe you got those in your chart, but you'll be happy to know that someone here is no longer some one person and another, another is no longer dating. They're not seeing each other anymore. Okay. That's a common theme for like y'all three. I feel like, um, what you got for Scorpio breaking a cycle with somebody breaking a cycle here for Scorpio or walking away. What is this for Scorpio? The good stuff in October. We have the sun. This could be like um, an Aries. I feel like you're done explaining yourself. Yeah, you're going to break up with somebody. This could be like a Capricorn as well. Could be a Leo. This is a very hateful person. Okay, this could be an Aries or something like that. Or you're, break you're, you're cutting some kind of energetic tie or some kind of energetic cord with somebody. This card looks super creepy. I don't like that. I'm not going to look at that. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're breaking some kind of energetic tie or cord with somebody. I feel like um, this is like a cord cutting ritual or something here. It feels like someone here is a baby. This person's a, I'm getting like a Taurus. Um, someone here just kind of cries and they don't get what they want or they don't get their way. The sun, three of swords. Yeah, I see you walking away from 
situate a situation and situations that don't that no longer serve you like this is like you knowing your worth and you knowing when to walk away like all right i know that there's no chance of mending something i know there's no chance of a relationship here i know there's no chance of xyz giving me you know getting me to this result so i see you just deading stuff like it's a lot easier for you to just let things go and walk away like i know where i'm not wanted is kind of what i feel what's the good stuff coming um scorpio's way in october the good stuff we got the king of cups so this is your energy or cancer pisces another scorpio what's this king of cups here for who is this that's not together no more that's a good thing for scorpio who is this that's not together no more that's a good thing for scorpio who is this the page of cups could be um another cancer pisces scorpio i'm hearing someone here maybe bullied you like they was cracking jokes on you or someone here could have been talking shit about your relationship the relationship that you was in was with another person and guess what their boyfriend cheated on them or they not in, they not in a relationship no more or their girlfriend left them like th this is like this is a common this is a, a prime example of mind your fucking business you know stop talking about other people's shit and your shit will be safe someone who was cracking jokes on whatever you got going on and they they stuff meant ended up messed up uh, i'm gonna laugh at that that's funny i'm gonna laugh haha ha. i'm gonna have a good laugh because that's what they deserve usually i'll be like no you know like nobody deserves that nah you talk shit about other people what you expect it goes both ways sweetie so i feel like um somebody here was cracking jokes somebody here thought something was real funny <laughs> they gonna find out how funny it is when they're the joke that's what that's what i feel like somebody gonna find out how how somebody gonna find out how fucking hilarious like you oh you think you funny guess what i could be hilarious someone here gonna find out how fucking hilarious something is okay someone here's going um you, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a real laugh scorpio i feel like scorpio is funny because you get the last laugh i don't know what this is talking about here what is this talking about here for scorpio this is like who um someone's gonna break up with somebody i don't know what is this that scorpio gets the last laugh in in october scorpio gets the last laugh what is this talking about for the good stuff the ace of wands yeah i'm getting move over there's a new queen in town or move over there's a new king in town move over there's a new sheriff which we thought this was step to step aside like you thought you was gonna run my kingdom step aside let me show you how a real leader runs or how a real leader leads so i feel like um scorpio maybe something here has been taken from you you get it back or you reclaim something back like your power but i see you reclaiming this is like empowerment who is this that thought they was gonna get one over on scorpio in october i'm getting someone here is coming clean about the whole thing they really thought they was gonna get away with it and guess what they're undoing is that they tell on themselves that's crazy right like you spend all this time trying to lie and then finally the thing that undoes you is you telling the truth like you you telling on yourself you snitching on yourself you incriminating yourself like you spend all this time trying to hide trying to do this trying to do whatever and the thing the thing that the thing that uh releases you from that or the thing that tells the truth is you that's so crazy someone here went in circles trying to protect something trying to do whatever and it's like they're the ones that tell on themselves like they're the ones that 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 confess it's like a murderer trying to hide from the police and then he tur he ends up turning himself in you know like uh how, how crazy is that you did all that just to confess so i see a confession scorpio or the, this is like an admission of guilt a confession or something like that someone here has a guilty conscience or someone here um i don't know it's a confession and it feels like it comes way out of left field like it comes out of nowhere someone here may confess like oh i've been cheating on you the whole time or i've been doing this the whole time with somebody else like yeah like i don't know someone here thought somebody i don't know if there's a relationship somebody thought their partner was loyal now i don't feel like this is you scorpio it feels like this you're the third party here it feels like you are the third not not like third party like y'all you know whatever but as in you know a third party could be a job like you're the you're the third thing here there's like two people they're having issues some confession like yeah i've been te cheating on you the whole time i've been doing this and you're the one that kind of sees the fall okay and I just feel like Scorpio, this is like you. You're like, wow, look at God. Look at God, yo. Look at God. Bum, but like, look. Look what God can do. I don't know what this is talking about, but look what, you know what, y'all gonna see what God can do. I'm also getting someone here needs to work on being a little bit more humble, Scorpio, because just as God gives, God can take away. So, um... You about to see somebody's downfall, I feel, or, or something. Tell me more. Um, now, how is this a good thing for Scorpio? 
How is this a good thing for Scorpio in October? This this feels like you getting um this feels like a cathartic catharsis. This feels like justice. It don't feel like revenge. Okay, revenge is evil. Justice is 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 doing is uh, making something right. The scales are finally balanced. Okay, this feels like justice. <laughs> That's what it feels like. What is what is this for? Um, I'm hearing do unto others as you would like done to you. The golden rule: treat others the way you want to be treated. Somebody here ain't been treating people right, and they about to get outed or they about to get undone. Okay, Scorpio, this is like karma. This is like you seeing what happens when like you choose the opposite side, like you choose the darkness or whatever, like you see what happens. It's like someone here is withering away or something's happening. I don't know. Now, how, tell me, give me one more card on this. How, how is this good stuff coming for Scorpio? How is this the good stuff coming? How is this good stuff for Scorpio in October? How is this good stuff for Scorpio in October? Uh, Page of Pentacles. How is this good stuff? This is good news for you. Because I feel like you're getting what you need. You, you're getting what you need out of a situation, Scorpio. So while someone else's life is being affected, you're just observing it. And it's like, thank God I picked the winning team. Or thank God I didn't go with that team. Thank God I didn't pick them. Thank God I went this way instead. Or thank God I never engaged or, or entertained that. Or I never did that. Like, thank God I chose this path. Because you seeing that the grass is not greener on the other side. So you get the good stuff coming your way is confirmation and good news regarding your work and that you're on the right path. Because you about to see what happens to somebody that chose that picks the opposite. You about to see it. Something is going to be visible is what I feel like. Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. How is this the good thing for Scorpio? Yeah, I'm hearing they not together no more. One person and another person broke up. And it's like this is this is what this is what happens when you build a relationship on lies or infidelity. That shit not gonna work. Or this is what happens when you cheat on your partner, not you you're not telling them the truth. Like this is what happens. Now y'all now y'all not together. Now somebody got broken up with, now somebody got cheated on. Not that that's a good thing, but it's like I told you. It feels like you told somebody. Let me get one more card on this. Who is this for Scorpio where they're not together anymore? Some person, another person is not together no more. Who is this? Like, this is like a breaking up or a separation. Who is this for Scorpio in October? They're not together no more. Um, we got the Eight of Swords. Could be another Scorpio. Who is this? They're not together no more. I don't know. It feels like some relationship or some foundation was built on lies. Like, you lying on this person. You lying on me. You lying on my name. Slandering me. And now you got left because your partner found out the truth or something like that. I don't know. So it's like, I don't know, man. It feels like maybe you got done dirty here. And it's just it's just sweet, man. This is just sweet. <laughs> it's what I feel. Okay, who is this? The Scorpio, Eight of Swords. I'm getting it's somebody's daughter. And somebody, I don't know. I mean, everybody's, every, every woman is someone's daughter, right? Um, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Who is this? I'm not picking up on who it is. Yeah, I'm getting it could be a Taurus. Someone here that was younger. Someone that's younger. I don't know, man. I don't know. But something here feels like an act of God. Like, thank the Lord. Those two people didn't get together. Or thank the Lord they never conceived or something like that. Or thank the Lord that something did not, could not, did not prolong is what I feel like. Thank the Lord. I don't know what this is talking about, but that's what I got <laughs> for you, Scorpio. Okay, let's move on to Sag. Cause I got issues And one of them is how much I need you Do shit on purpose Get mad and break things da -na 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 -na. Cause you don't love me Cause if you did, baby, I would love you too Or something like that Cause I got issues And one of them is how much I need you you do shit on purpose. Okay. Sag. What's the good stuff? I'm hearing something here about going to Costa Rica. Go, co Costa Rica. I'm also hearing like a Pentecostal church. Pentecostal. I don't know if you're dealing with someone here that's religious or if you're looking into religion. I'm also hearing um, churches. Churches. And I'm hearing... Um, you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, or that's your opposite sign, so you may want to check that out as well. Because um, for Gemini, I was picking up on, um, like, a gospel or someone inviting them to a church. I'm getting, like, a Pentecostal something. Like, it's, like, an all-white thing or, I don't know, maybe, like, weddings. But I'm also getting Sag Costa Rica. Some of y'all could be booking a trip to go somewhere. 
Okay, some of y'all, I, I feel like, um, I feel like, uh, did I call you sad? Did I call you Scorpio? Sad. Some of y'all, this, some of y'all, something here like upends your entire life. Okay, this is like, the, this is like a new beginning. So this could be like a new relationship you enter, like it completely changes your whole life or transforms everything from, for you. Um, this could be like a, a new, uh, a new job. It completely uproots your entire life. Like, it feels like in order to invite some new beginning in, your whole life has to change. And it feels very positive, though. It feels very good. So it feels like you're welcoming something in and, like, you're also getting change. This feels like a renewal as well, Sag. Okay. What's the good stuff coming Sag's way in October? The good stuff coming Sag's way in October. The good stuff coming Sag's way in October. Okay, we have the fool. Some of y'all could be entering a new relationship soon. Now, this may be relationship season in October because I've been getting this message for every single zodiac sign. Almost every sign, except for like two maybe. But Aries, it was strong. Taurus, Gemini. Um, so, I don't know. This, you know, it, I think it's Libra, it is Libra season. Libra is like relationships, Venus, all that. But I see some of y'all going to end up in a relationship. You and somebody going to end up together. Now, I'm not sure if this happens in October or you just meet this person, y'all talk, and then y'all end up together in another month. But, um... You're going toward, yep, two of cups. You're going towards a relationship. This could be with an Aries, a Capricorn, a, Tur a Taurus, or a Virgo. This feels like you're going to find a better way to see somebody. Um, like, like if, if y'all have, if y'all are having issues with like travel, um, travel, like transportation or something like that, like seeing each other, um, you're going to find a way to make something work. Okay, the Fool, the Two of Cups. Yeah, something may cause you to like uproot your entire life though. I don't know if someone here requires you to change your whole life to be with them or I mean I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say do that but it feels like uh, maybe you have to move or I don't know maybe maybe you start traveling further distances now but um, I see that something works for you Sag okay so it's nobody else's business the fool two of cups who is this that Sag ends up in a relationship with in October um they've got secrets they've got secrets we got the sun they recently broke up with someone could be like a friend they may have separated from a friendship a best friend um they recently broke up the Fool, the Two of Cups. Um, they are filled with like past regrets though about like past relationships that they were in. Um, I don't know why I'm also getting something here about like breast milk or breastfeeding. So I don't know if someone here has a kid. <laughs> um, what's the sun? Who is this that Sag ends up in a relationship with October? Could be a Leo. What is this? Um, the Ten of Pentacles. They have to explain something to you. So I don't know if they were in a long-term relationship before you or something like that. But, you know, something here requires a long, um, an explanation is what I feel like. Who is this for Sag? They, they may have kept secrets from you in the beginning of the relationship. So I don't know. I don't know if you, I mean, if you can look past something. I'm not telling you to just to do nothing or not to do it. But that's kind of what I'm getting. That's how y'all identify this person. Um, they kept secrets from you in the beginning. Maybe about somebody that they were with. Um, so I don't, I don't know if you actually want to be in a relationship with somebody because it feels like they were entertaining someone in the beginning. So I don't know if they had you on a leash or if, y'all I don't know, they had options. I don't really, you know, it's not looking too promising after that. But um, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something here. Okay. What else you got for Sag? The good stuff coming Sag's way in October. You're going to be able to afford to do something, okay? So this is about going to a place. You're going to be able to afford to go there or do something. Um, Four of Pentacles. What's this for um, Sag? The good stuff coming their way in October, the Four of Pentacles. If y'all have to move or it, some of y'all, like there's an energy about moving here, like moving homes, like I'm getting a physical move. Um, if y'all find that you have to like uproot your entire life to leave somewhere, like leave a situation or leave a job, like if y'all, you're going to have the funds to do it. Like, don't worry about that. Like you will be taken care of or you'll be fine. If some of y'all find that like, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a rat infestation or there's a, there's mold or something like that or whatever. Um, and you're having to be placed in a different job or be placed in a different home. Um, you will be like, you will be taken care of regarding that. Um, so don't worry about it. Cause it feels like some of y'all may have to like completely uproot your entire life. Like say goodbye to something or life as you know, it is going to change or something like that. Like it feels like a big change. Um, you're going to be well taken care of. Okay. You're going to be taken care of like, how am I going to make this move or how am I going to afford to get there? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Four of pentacles. And we got the devil card. 
what is this? Yeah, so someone or something may cause you to uproot your whole life. This could be like bad news or some kind of news that you receive about something. But the good news is that, um, what's this devil card? Be mindful of who you're dealing with as well. Because I'm getting some, someone may cast something onto you. It's like a spell. Damn, I got this for Libra. No, I got this for Virgo and I got this for Leo. Someone here could be doing something dark. Now, once again, I, I'm going to disclaim, I'm not that kind of reader. But if I see it, I point it out. Okay, I'm not going to say it if I don't hear it. Someone here may cast something on you. Be mindful of that. Who is this? This devil, the wheel. Who is this that's going to cast something on um, Sag? Could be a Capricorn. The five of pentacles. This is someone here that's going to abuse some kind of privileges or some kind of magic or something. Like, this is like a divination abuser or something like that. Someone here is going to... Now, this person, the good news is that they're playing with fire that they don't understand. I told it to Virgo, be careful messing with some shit if you don't know what you're doing. This person don't know what they're doing. It's like an amateur. Okay, you're trying to do black magic and then you turn that shit on yourself. So, whatever someone here tries to cast something onto you, it does not work. They end up in poverty or they end up like... It ends up benefiting you, so don't worry about that, whatever someone here's trying to do. I'm getting something here about like some kind of program that you were in or something. Someone here tried to cast something to, to, to I, I don't know. If someone tries to uproot your entire life, you're going to be taken care of. Like you're not going to struggle. The devil, like something here is not going to work or it's not going to go through. You are protected. You are divinely protected. You are looked after. You are looked after, highly protected, Okay. Who is this for um, Sag? Someone here, this could be someone that you broke up with. They're mad that y'all not together no more or they're mad that you're not in a relationship with them no more. Who is this for a Sag? Um, the devil that's trying to cast on Sag in October. Who is this? Um, they're, okay, whoever this is, they're going to be left with regrets. They're going to regret the day they was born. Okay, they're going to regret doing this. They're going to be left with major regrets. That like, You should not be playing with something if you don't know what you're doing. You shouldn't be playing. I mean, you shouldn't be playing with this at all, but you should not be playing with something if you don't know what you're doing. The devil, now some of y'all, this could be a Leo, because for Leo, I was getting that they were getting into some dark stuff at the end of their reading, and I was getting a Virgo energy as well. I was getting some, some magic or affirmations in Virgo as well. So I don't know if y'all have that in your chart, or you could be dealing with those signs, but y'all may want to check out those two readings. Um, the devil, who is this for uh, Sag? Who is this? The Nine of Pentacles. Someone here's trying to, t trying to cast something on your money. Someone trying to do something on your money on your means, like how you support yourself. Someone here is trying to do something on your money. Someone here is like, it feels like someone's trying to like stagnate your progress so that you don't get no results. Who is this for Sag? Identify this person in October. Who is this for Sag? Identify this person. I'm getting, it could be an Aries. They're like, I don't know if they're actually going to somebody or doing all that. It feels like they're just saying stuff that's negative. They put negative stuff on you. They're trying to. Um, What's the, what's the good stuff here regarding this for uh, Sag? What's the good stuff in this regarding for Sag? What's the good stuff though? Like how how is this a good thing for Sag? How is this the good thing for Sag? The nine of wands? Because you're going to experience a new beginning. So someone here thinks that what they're doing is working. They may do it wrong where you end up having a new relationship with somebody. Something here is not going to have no effect on you. Like your money's going to be good. You're going to be taken care of. You're going to be successful. You're going to be fine. Um, you're going to actually be glowing a lot brighter. So whatever someone's trying to do is not going to work. Just just say a prayer, Sag, and return to sender. Return that shit back to sender. Like, block. Return to sender. Return to sender. Okay? Block it. That's all you have to do is say a prayer or just pray to God. Pray to your spirit. Pray. That stuff is out there, but it don't got to affect you if you got if you got God on your side or you got spirit on your side. Like, maybe, maybe they could send a little thing your way or hurt you, whatever. Okay? But... Just say a prayer. Pray to God. God, protect me. God, shield me. Shield my assets. Shield my home. Shield my children. Whatever you got going on. Shield my money. Protect my business ideas. Protect my body. Protect my health. Shield my relationships. Put a cover over me. Put your hands over me. Bless this relationship that I'm in. Don't let nobody touch this. Any prying eyes. Anything trying to enter that's not of, 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 a, of light. Return to sender. That's it. You don't, don't got to get no nothing out. Just that's it. That's all you got to do. Okay, your spirit guys got you. This this ain't going. I don't know who the fuck this is, but this shit ain't gonna work. Okay, they got me talking about this shit. I'm not. Even, I don't even talk about this. But this don't. This, that that that's fuck. Uh uh. Mm, I don't know. Oof. Okay, but I'm gonna leave it that. I'm gonna leave it there for you, Sage. Because I just realized it's 11 minutes long, so I'm trying to give everybody equal time. Okay, so that's what I got for you, Sage. Let's move on to. 
Um, let's move on to Capricorn. One second, I'm gonna put on some lip gloss. Okay, let's move on to Capricorn. We're gonna say that you are one hour, 40 minutes, and we'll say 35 seconds. Um, Capricorn, Capricorn. I feel like the good stuff coming your way. I heard an intuitive message. It's from a Cardi B song. Um, the people who pop the most shit is the people who shit not together. Okay, so the people who pop in the most shit about you, yo haters, they bozos, they're bums, they ain't never going, they ain't nothing. I mean, they have potential to be something, but they using that. They're giving all their energy up talking shit when you be making some money. The people who pop the most shit, the people who shit not together. So the people that just, that's talking to y'all, the people, people are, you got haters. Okay, you got your shit together. This means that you're doing good because you got haters who people whose shit is not together that have something to say about what you got going on. The people that pop the most up, your haters, is is no is no competition for you. There's there's no there's no like race. There's no they're not in the running. You're not even in the same ballpark. Okay, people, you're doing good in October, and people are mad. They could stay mad. Oh well, do better. Stop talking shit. Go make some money, or go talk shit and make money to talk shit. Okay. You 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 just doing all that you just doing all that for free. What what did you accomplish? You know I don't know. What's the good stuff coming uh, Capricorn's way in October? The good stuff coming Capricorn's way in October. You're making progress. You got some haters. You got hate. You know you're doing something right when people are on your body like that Capricorn. People are gonna be on you. People are gonna be on you because you're doing good. You're doing good. I see celebratory energy. I see success. I see progress. And just as I see that, I see you getting brighter. I see you going higher. And people are going to try to bring you down. People are going to try to claw at you, trying to trying to, trying to dig up anything they can find. Let them. Let them do whatever. Let them do their worst. You, you got food in your stomach. Your bills are still going to be paid. You're still going to be successful. And you're still going to have teeth because you're still going to be... You're still, still going to have teeth to smile with, okay? You're still going to be happy. You're still breathing. You're still blessed. They're not affecting anything, Okay. We got the Empress. Um, some of y'all could, I don't know if I could show this actually because YouTube been acting kind of funny lately. So, I mean, I'm gonna cover her nips. There's a pregnant woman, I'm gonna cover her nip. Empress. What's this Empress? Um, I, I see you having a breakthrough moment. You're breaking through something and I feel like you're making progress, Capricorn, okay? You're making great big progress. What's the Empress for um, Capricorn? Some of y'all, the good news could be offspring. Like some of y'all may be finding out that you're pregnant, okay? I'm also getting some of y'all regarding work. You're getting your own office space or some of y'all could be revamping your office space. Yeah, I see you getting good news. It's like abundance. You're getting good news. I feel like something is on its way to you. I believe this is a stork. This is a stork. This is like good news on its way is what I feel like. What's the Empress for a Capricorn? The good stuff coming Capricorn's way in October. The Empress, the good stuff. If you've been stagnant, I feel like um, things are going to be moving for you nicely. Yeah, you're making progress. You're breaking through into some field, um, Capricorn. You're going to break through. If this is a business, you are pregnant with ideas. Okay, you have a lot of idea. You have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of skill, and you have a lot of potential to make the most out of something or to make something happen for you. I see you making deals as well. I see you making promises, and you're able to keep them. Um, I see you have a loyal support system as well. There's people that have your back. The Empress Page of Wands. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries soon. This this person feels younger, like a child. Could be a Taurus or an Aries. Or someone here is a bit immature. This person wants you back. What is this for um, Capricorn? The good stuff coming their way in October? The, oh my God, Capricorn. Something, the money that, okay. The ceiling for something is very high. 
Okay, so like the money that you can make with something is 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 like is 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 growing. Like you're getting progress. You're gonna get there. The money that you can make is amazing. The moves that you could make are amazing. The progress you could make is like infinite. Like there's there's a lot of potential here. I'm getting there's a lot of money in something. You may not be touching, oh wow, one, four, 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 four. You may not be touching all that money in October, but you're definitely seeing some money. Like you're seeing abundance and it's making you realize like how high the ceiling is for something. Like it don't stop at like whatever you thought it was. Whatever you thought there was a cap, there's no cap. Don't limit yourself. Okay, the ceiling for something is very, very high. The Empress. The Empress Page of Wands. What is this for um for Capricorn? In October, the good stuff coming their way. The Empress, Page of Wands. Yeah, you're making progress. You're making headway. I, I, some of y'all, I see you making your dreams come true. And some of y'all are doing it all by yourself. Like, you ain't getting no help. I see you doing this all by yourself. And you're going to be very fruitful. Literally, this is like living lavish, living well, abundance, Nine of Cups. And this is like gratitude. So be sure to thank God, thank your spirit guides, whatever you believe in. Thank your angels. And pray for more. Pray for more abundance. And also be grateful for what you already got. Okay, the Nine of Cups can talk about gratitude, but you are making headway. You're literally making dreams come true. You're making progress. Okay, you're making progress. The Nine of Cups is very fruitful. It's very abundant. It's lavish. It's, um, there's Nine of Cups in, in the regular tarot. It, it, um, it's a guy, he's a little bit fat, okay, because he got all this food. Traditionally, like, kings are seen as, like, um, extremely, like, if you're, I think, I forgot what country it's in, but, um, if you're if you're bigger, you're seen as wealthy because you, you can buy more food. Okay, food is like a scarcity in some places. So some of y'all could be gaining weight, but I'm also just getting like you're getting um you're very uh fruitful, very very uh fulfilled, very satisfied. Okay, this is like fulfilled, very um fulfillment energy. Okay. Some of y'all could definitely be getting pregnant though, because this this nine of cups, the emperors, there's literally an egg on this card, or there's not an egg, but it looks like an egg. And nine of cups can represent good news as well. But yeah, there's, there's some kind of wish fulfillment here. There's something manifesting for you, um, Capricorn. Some of you might have Scorpio in your chart. The Empress, Page of Wands. Yeah, you're making progress. If this is a business, if this is a business, you should start this business. You're going to be pregnant with ideas. You're going to be abundant. There are people that are going to be very helpful to you on your path, on your journey, on your way to the top, whatever this is, some kind of business. This is like good news. You're receiving good news. Okay, good news. So this could be like you, re you received that grant or you got approved for that loan or something. Something here is very blessed. Okay. Some of y'all could be going to school. Um, that's that's uh, that's blessed as well is what I feel. What else you got for Capricorn? The good stuff coming Capricorn's way in October. Once you get out of your own way and you stop holding yourself back, you're going to see how much you can really soar. Okay. What else you got for Capricorn? Um, the good stuff coming their way in October. Capricorn. The good stuff coming their way. Okay, we got the Six of Swords. Uh, I feel like someone here is going to visit you. I'm also getting someone's going to follow you. If you have an online business, I'm getting more followers, okay? More people are attracted to you, whatever, whatever it is you're doing, more followers. Um, I, I see more abundance for you. Now, I also see with that comes more work, so there's more responsibility, but... Um, <laughs> that just means more money, baby. So we we're not gonna complain about that, okay? Something it's not gonna feel like work if you love what you do. So uh, six of swords. What's the six of swords here? Six of swords. Um, I feel like you're getting some good news. What is this good news in regards to for um, Capricorn in October? What's this good news in regards to for Capricorn? Good news. The death, the death card, you're going to be making a lot more. So whatever you thought you were going to make, um, that's what I'm saying. The ceiling for something is really high, Capricorn. Like you thought that she was going to get this and it's like surprise, surprise, motherfucker. Like you got, you actually getting double that or something like that. Like you're going to be making a lot more. Okay. So th 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 like this is giving me like Pluto in the second house energy, like big money energy. That can, that can talk about like major, you know, downfalls regarding money too, but I'm getting like, um, you know, major money. Like these, this is this is like a major power move or something. Like you thought you was gonna be making this, but it's like, nah, this is your salary. Like this is what your check looks like. And you like, oh, don't mind if I do. Like, hell yeah. The death card, like it, it ain't what you see. The number is more. Okay, add a couple zeros to that number or add a couple something to that is what I feel like. 
this is like some of y'all 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 apply for a job it's like you, you think you're gonna make whatever and you actually make like a thousand extra or something like that like i don't know just add a couple zeros to that john like you you it's a lot more than what you thought okay um y'all make me want to cry for you for some of y'all this feels like a big blessing i'm happy for you Okay, what's this um, Six of Swords here for Scorpio? That's Scorpio. Oh my God, some of y'all may have Scorpio in your chart. Yeah, the Death card is Scorpio energy. Some of y'all may have that in your chart. Okay, some of y'all could actually have a little fling with a Scorpio as well in uh, in October or in Aries. I feel like some of y'all flirting with somebody. Like you're flirting with the idea of something here. So maybe not like fully jumping into it, but like, you know, just a little maybe, maybe like a little rendezvous. What's this Six of Swords here for Capricorn? The good stuff coming their way in October. Six of Swords the lovers oh yeah you're getting what you want out of a situation capricorn some of y'all i'm literally getting you're not you're going you're going to be getting out of the trenches you're not going to be in poverty no more now that's a big statement to make for one month but a lot can change them a lot can change in a month but also you may just be seeing some more progress like in your money so like maybe you're not fully able to get out in october maybe it's like a couple months down the line but you see some progress in october that gives you some kind of hope but yeah, some of y'all, I'm getting like, y'all gonna be out of the poorhouse. Y'all gonna be out of poverty. Like y'all gonna be, you and somebody else gonna break up. Y'all not together no more. You in poverty, y'all don't speak no more. Y'all don't talk. You talk, you together with financial freedom, financial abundance now. You together with some good money now. You and Brett, you and, uh, you and some of y'all, some, some of y'all broke up with somebody named Brett. You and debt broke up. Y'all done separated. That's a thing of the past. We don't even visit that no more. This is you using real money. You using real, uh, real cash now. Okay, you and somebody go good, real together, go go together real good now. Okay, you breaking up with something. What's that Kanye song? Until me being broke finally broke up. You and being broke finally broke up. Y'all done. Y'all done. That cycle, you ain't going back there. The money's good. The money's there. Okay? You, me being broke finally broke up. You're going to be so happy that you and someone or you and something not together no more. Tell that bitch bye-bye, okay? The Six of Swords, the lovers. Yeah, you get what you want out of a situation. Smell, this is soulmate energy as well, okay? But um, let's move on to uh, Aquarius. Okay, we're gonna say that you are one hour, 52 minutes, and we'll say 15 seconds. Um, Aquarius, I'm hearing refreshments, refreshments. So I don't know if you're going to a party or something, or there's like refreshments. I'm hearing agua fresca. So that's really refreshing. I have to be drinking some agua fresca. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm hearing something about fresca or like some strawberry. I forgot what that, what that's called. Some strawberry thing, some strawberry. It's like, it's a refresher. I don't know what it's called. I'm not gonna, I think it's Brazilian or Cuban, I forget. Okay, what's the good stuff coming um, Aquarius's way in October? What's the good stuff coming Aquarius's way in October? You're gonna be winning some awards, okay? You're gonna be gaining some recognition and some rewards. Um, you're gonna be getting your flowers, okay? Now I had some smart bitch in my comments say like, oh, where's my flowers? Like, I don't have flowers, what does that even mean? That means you're getting appreciation, dummy, okay? So whoever you were, I don't think you were an Aquarius, so I'm sorry, Aquarius, that to, to black on them in your reading, but that's what that means, okay? That's what that means. I had a whole, wrote me a whole paragraph about how some flowers, like, come on. Anyways, what's the good stuff coming Aquarius' way in October? What's the good stuff coming Aquarius' way in October? But yeah, y'all are getting your recognition. Y'all are getting your flowers. Y'all are getting your, you're getting what's due to you. Okay, you're getting what's due to you, what's owed to you. You put in some work, you get in the res you get in the results, the fruits of your labor. Something here pays off. Okay, what's the good stuff coming Aquarius's way in October? We have the fool. Okay, I feel like something here pays off. I feel like um, Aquarius. Some of y'all may have taken a risk in something like a relationship or an investment a business or a job, a career, whatever this is. Some of y'all took a risk and it's paying off. Like it feels like all your years of studying or all, all, like it feels like everything that you've been through has led up to this very moment of you taking this risk and something taking off. So this is like, for example, like let's say, let's say someone here is trying to get themselves out of poverty, right? 
So you would save money, you would, you would stop eating out, which means that you would probably learn to cook more. And then in trying to save money in reaching financial abundance, you become a really great chef. And then your future career prospects, some future endeavor that you jump into, this could be a food truck. You didn't know that the whole time you was trying to focus on one goal and you're, 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 you're honing in on another goal, which is the cooking. You're able to use that skill now to your benefit to open up this food truck, this business. So it feels like Aquarius, everything that you've been through, all the skills that you've learned, all the struggles that you've tackled, everything that you've gone through is leading up to this very moment. My uncle's calling me right now. I'm gonna call him back later. But everything that you've been through is leading you to this um, to this exact moment, okay? Where you take this leap of faith. And if you've already taken this leap of faith, you're going to be rewarded for doing so, for being brave, for taking the risk, okay? For not being scared, okay? For being courageous, for being the courageous one, for being the one to do it where everybody else was afraid to do it. Okay, everything leads up to this moment. So even though you're the fool, even though you're taking a risk, you're not unprepared. Everything you've done, you are prepared for this. Okay, you are equipped for some kind of experience. You're more than prepared. Um, my uncle texted me. Sorry, y'all. What's the good stuff coming um coming Aquarius's way in October? Clarify this fool card. What's the yeah, I'm getting some of y'all are gonna work there. You're gonna get a job working somewhere. Okay, you may work together with somebody. This could be like the career of your dreams or something here taking off, a job taking off. Now, this may not all happen in October. I'm saying that disclaimer to every sign. You may just see initial stages of progress in October, but this is confirmation that you're on the right path. What's this fool card here for um, Aquarius? The good stuff coming their way in October. You're going to have the means to do whatever it is that you need to do. So you're going to have the resources. You're going to have the support. Money is not the only resource there is out there. Some of y'all are very great speakers. Some of y'all are very intelligent. Some of y'all are intuitive. Some of y'all, um, I don't know, you have certain skills that can make you the money to get you to X, Y, Z. So either way, you're equipped. Okay, you're equipped. The fool usually doesn't have much. He has a little knapsack, this little, this little toy box that he got, okay, right there. But you're fully equipped and you're fully aware. So this is a risk. Like, this feels like a calculator risk. You, you plan for this. Okay, so I feel like get ready to jump or get ready to, like, start something. What's this fool for Aquarius? The good stuff coming Aquarius's way in October. I'm also getting you or somebody else is coming clean about the whole thing. So you're getting some freedom as well. to Like, you're able to release something finally. This could be, like, the closure that you've been looking for. Because somebody here uh, finally comes clean or confesses. We have the fool. We have the Ten of Swords. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries. Some of y'all could be ending a relationship with somebody. I feel like, um, hold on, what's the Ten of Swords here? I, I feel like I want to say quit telling yourself that you're not ready to end something or to leave something. You have everything that you need to be successful. I don't know, like stop stalling or quit, like quit, uh, quit saying something or quit doing something. Like um, you, you have what you need. You're prepared for this. You, you, you worked for this or you studied for this. This is giving me the energy of like, you went to school to be, I keep using the, the example chef. You went to school to be a, a, a chef, okay? And you're, you're working in like Starbucks, you're working in whatever, like you're working jobs here and there while you're, while you're getting your degree. You're coming up with recipes on the side. And then finally you finish, you get your degree or whatever. Finally, you are certified. And you're afraid to start that business or start, you know, you're afraid to start selling your own stuff or you're afraid to to apply for the big jobs working at working in the city or working for like Hell's Kitchen or something like that. Like you're you're equipped for it. You're ready. You're prepared. You're scared, but do it anyways. Like you're ready for this. You've been you, this feels like you've been you've been preparing your whole life for something. Aquarius, you're more than ready to jump into something. This could be a relationship with somebody, a job, a career, a passion, a business. We have the Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. You're not going to fall and trip and break your legs like the fool might, you know, suggest. You know, you're going to fall into a nice comforting nest. What else you got for Aquarius? The good stuff coming their way in October. The good stuff coming uh, Aquarius's way in October. I see you working on multiple projects, okay? Some of y'all, I see you getting help on your projects as well. And I feel like you're not telling anybody what you're doing or what you're working on. And you're going to get help on something. So um, this is like God or spirit sending you like helpful people or, or helpful information. Just, you know, like little nudges to help you like get somewhere a little bit closer. Okay. Um, sorry. I see you being connected with like really helpful people. What else you got for Aquarius in October? 
I mean, more of the good stuff coming their way in October. We have the lovers. Somehow this could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. Um, I, I, I got this for, um, for Capricorns. You could be getting exactly what you want in a situation. I'm also getting with this lovers. You and someone could be old lovers. Like this is like an old lover possibly coming in. This could be a Gemini, literally. This is the Queen of Swords. Um, what's the lovers here for Aquarius? The good stuff coming their way in October. I feel like if you've been searching for something, you can end your search. Like you find whatever it is that you're looking for. This feels like maybe searching for a job or searching for something to do, searching for a friend or a lover. Like you can kind of stop your search. Like your, your search can stop here. Like um, you found something or you're finding something in October. What's this lovers here for Aquarius? The good stuff coming their way in October. Something proves to be very fruitful and very abundant for you. What is this for October? Um, the proof's in the pudding, Aquarius. The, the proof is in the pudding. We got the Queen of Wands. What is this that proves to be very fruitful for Aquarius? In October, something proves to be very fruit, uh, fruitful. The Hierophant, like something that you're believing in or something that you're practicing. Okay, this could be an institution. It feels like, like if you prayed or something like that, like whatever whatever you've been promised whatever you've been practicing like something proves to be fruitful like if you've been if you've been like putting something into practice this could be like prayer it could be affirmations it could be like a routine a schedule a regimen or something like that or something regarding belief um it's not for no reason like this proves to be very abundant you will be very abundant because of this like because of systems that you've had in place because of some kind of belief because of prayer like i feel like something here works this works. Queen of Wands. This is the Hierophant card, but it's called Faith in this deck. Faith. What is this here that will prove to be very fruitful for Aquarius? Queen of Wands. Hierophant. What is this? This Hierophant will prove to be very um, fruitful. Hierophant. The Two of Swords. I'm hearing something here is fate. Something here is fated or it's karma. The two of swords. I don't know, this is like relying on something. Maybe like trusting your intuition, relying on yourself. But something here is like, I'm hearing something is like tried, tested, and proven. Like it, you're, you're, it's, um, it's, it's kind of like you, with this, with this strategy, like you're, you're, you're bound to succeed. Like you can't fail here. Like, I mean, everybody can fail, but like success is more likely here. Like if you just have a little bit of faith or you speak life into your goals or you just, you chase something or you go over it, you chant it. Or, I don't know. There's something here that's like, it, it, it proves to be very abundant though for you. The proof's in the pudding. Like it works. Something here, it ain't no joke. Like it didn't come from nowhere. Like literally, like let's say this is prayer. As soon as you pray about something, 10 minutes later, so an idea gets placed in your head. Like that was fast. Like, you know, like something here is tried, tested and proven. Like it may not be, you know, scientifically proven, but like as in your own trials and tribulations, you can attribute X, Y, Z to God, or you can attribute X, Y, Z to, to me writing in my journal. Like you literally see a direct result to something that you do. You write a manifestation out, you see it happen. Like you, this is like a correlation. So something here, it, it proves to be abundant, fruitful. Like you, I feel like you find a method that works for you, Aquarius. What's this um, lover's page of pentacles here for Aquarius? Um, yeah, I feel like you're getting some kind of proof. Aquarius, you're getting proof, like the proof's in the pudding or the proof's in the pages, like you're getting proof that something here works. Something that you've been working on, you're making progress, like you're getting the evidence. Okay, so baby, you're getting the receipts. Okay, the proof's in the pudding. What more you want? God ain't gonna come down and tell you, you know, like, what, what more do you want? This works. Something here, some strategy that you made, maybe a plan that you came up with or devised, it works. Okay, the proof is in the pudding. Okay, that's what I got for you, Aquarius. Let's move on to Pisces. Let's move on to Pisces. Pisces, we're going to say that you are two hours through, uh, we'll say four minutes. And we'll say 15 seconds. What's the good stuff coming towards Pisces in October? What's the good stuff coming towards Pisces in October? 
Pisces, some of y'all, I'm getting the intuitive message of like you're reprogramming something. So some of y'all could be reprogram reprogramming your mind, your subconscious. This could be in your sleep. So I've been getting affirmations for a lot of people. I got affirmations, especially for Virgo though. So some of y'all could, um, that's, that's, that's your opposite sign. So that makes sense. But um, some of y'all could be reprogramming your mind to believe in something else or, or have something different um, to change your limiting beliefs. So I see like at a, at a mental level, you're improving your life in October. Um, what's the good stuff coming Pisces way in October? The good stuff coming Pisces way in October. We have the six of swords and we have the seven of wands. I see you, I see you um, changing your beliefs or this could be you changing what you believe in or changing, changing how you show what you believe. This feels like um, faith, like you're changing, like let's say you worship, you're changing how you worship. Let's say you, let's say you uh, meditate, you're changing how you meditate or you're changing how you journal. Like you're changing a, a daily habit and it feels like it's a good thing here. Like you're catering something more towards you. I also feel like Pisces, this is like you're telling yourself that you're more deserving of something, which you are, okay? It's like you're, you're, you're setting something at stone, like you're, you're putting it like down. Um, Six of Swords, the Seven of Wands. What is this for Pisces? The good stuff coming their way in October. I see that you're getting what you want with the Six of Swords. You're proving something to a lot of people, Pisces. You're proving how powerful and how capable you are. It's like you get a task. And like the task is being put in very capable hands. Like you're proving just how, you're proving how something works, Pisces. Like you are the proof. I feel like you are the evidence here. You're proving just how powerful something is or how powerful you are. If people didn't believe you, they're going to believe now. Six of Swords, the Seven of Wands. Um, let me get a, what is this for Pisces? The Hermit. Yeah, you're going to get there. You're going to get somewhere. You're going to get to your destination right on time. You're proving that something works, Pisces. Some of y'all could be, uh, this is Virgo energy. Some of y'all could be in isolation mode. Okay, some of y'all could be reprogramming your mind, literally reprogramming something. What's this hermit card here for um, for Pisces? The good stuff coming their way in October, the hermit. Some of y'all may go hermit mode on the entire world. Okay, some of y'all may just go like dark mode or hermit mode, like just, just retreat or go within. Introspective energy, the hermit, the nine of wands. I just feel like some of y'all could be surfing. Uh, some of y'all could be su studying psychology as well. The Hermit, the Nine of Wands. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Sagittarius. This almost feels like with this Hermit card, Pisces, it's like you're going out into the world. No, this feel. You know, what this feels like this feels like you're going within. You're retreating within. You're studying whatever you find within. This could be like meditation or through sleep, but you're 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 going within. And then you find out stuff, like you discover stuff, you, you educate yourself, and then you go out into the world and tell them what you found. So you go out into the world and you're able to preach what you, you're able to preach, um, to pre you're able to practice what you preach. You're able to like help other people. Like it feels like you're able to go out into the world and like teach others of what you found or what you're doing or something like that. The hermit. What's the hermit here for, for Pisces? The good stuff coming their way in October. What's the hermit? The good stuff. The Hermit, the King of Cups. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Pisces at work or some of y'all this could be like a workplace romance, a workplace relationship that you're starting with somebody. The Hermit, King of Cups. Some of y'all could be getting an advance at work as well. What's this Nine of Wands for Pisces? The good stuff. In October, Nine of Wands, the Seven. Pisces, you're getting pictures of the, you're getting like little pieces of the puzzle, Pisces, like things are being start, things are starting to be like put into place for you. Okay, so like little pieces of the puzzle, like, okay, that happened because of that. Okay, I have to be over here so that I can get there. Like you're starting to understand something a little bit more. So this could be like you getting into your spirituality a little bit more or you understanding why you're at in your life right now, like why certain things have to be this way or why you have to do X, Y, Z. Like you're getting little pieces of the puzzle and it's starting to form a bigger picture. Like it's starting to make a lot of sense to you, something, your purpose or your passion. Okay. Things are starting to make a lot more sense. What is this for, um, for Pisces? They're putting it together. Things are starting to make sense in October. They're putting two and two together, or they're putting things together. What is this for Pisces in October? That's starting to make sense. We got the, um, the, your faith in something, your faith. Or your your something is starting to make sense here, like why you do the things that you do, why you feel guided toward. Like you're starting to understand yourself. 
Okay, this feels like self-understanding, self-development. Um, this feels like a very like introspective, it feels like a Piscean month, okay? Like a 12th house energy month. Like you're understanding your subconscious mind at like, I don't know, a molecular level or something like that. Like what are your triggers? Why do you respond the way you do? Why are you so affected by X, Y, Z? Like once you learn to master your inner world, do you, people, y'all might say like, oh, well, where's the money? Where's this? This will lead you to the money. This will lead you to your success. Once you master your inner world, you are unstoppable. You can manifest anything that you want, anything you desire, because you are in full control. But in order to master thyself, you have to know thyself. And I see you getting real acquainted. Okay? I see you getting real acquainted with your spirituality, your practice, you. Pisces. Who is Pisces at their core? What does Pisces really want? Then Pisces go and get it. I'm going to pick up on a money message for y'all. I didn't do this for nobody else, but just because your reading felt real spiritual, I want to pick up on like a tangible thing just to give y'all some grounding. Give me a money message for Pisces in October. The good stuff coming Pisces way in October in terms of money and finances. You're going to find a way to level up. Okay, we got the Ace of Swords. Some of y'all are going to find a way to uh, finance something. This is, this is, I see you manifesting something that you've been fighting for. This could be a new beginning in your finances. I'm also getting, um... It feels like you're having a new beginning or you're going to be able to manifest something with your money, but you're not telling your family or you're not telling anyone about this, which is good. It's good. I've been getting the message for y'all since like, it's still September, but when you're watching this, this might be October. Um, I've been getting this message for y'all since like a week ago, two weeks ago to stay quiet about your good news. Okay. Give me a love message for uh, Pisces in October. The good stuff come in Pisces way in October in terms of love. The good stuff coming towards Pisces in terms of love. In romance the four of swords some of y'all could be dealing with yeah i'm getting another pisces at work four of swords eight of wands it feels like another person at work with your same zodiac sign or similar maybe they're still a water sign or maybe they're like aquarius like next to pisces or aries four of swords eight of wands what's this what's this ace of swords for this financial beginning what is this for um for pisces in october I'm hearing someone who's something here about they wrote you a letter or you wrote them a letter. What's this Ace of Swords for Pisces in uh, October? Their money? Good stuff. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. What is this for Pisces? The good stuff, their money in October. I'm hearing you're going to pass this test. Some of y'all are going to, uh, some of y'all literally manifested some kind of new opportunity for yourself. We have all swords, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is a new beginning and you're going to be quiet about this. I feel like you're going to be the leader of something or you're going to be in charge or you're going to be like taking, yeah, taking the reins, but um, you're being asked to be quiet about some kind of opportunity. Okay, hush. This feels like a new job. Don't tell nobody. Or at least don't tell nobody until you like a month into you secured the, the stuff. Okay. Ace of swords, queen of swords, knight of swords. Y'all may experience some jealousy at work as well. This is, you're gonna, if you start talk, if you start running your mouth, Pisces, now I know Pisces can be very quiet. I know Pisces that are mysterious, okay? So y'all don't have an issue with running your mouth. But for those of y'all that have an issue with running your mouth and telling your business, you're gonna see directly what happens once you do that. Like, there's people that's gonna be jealous of you. Like, you're gonna see it. So don't even put yourself through that. Like, just, just, just avoid it at all costs. Ace of Swords. But yeah, that's what I, um, what's this ace? Let me, let me get one more on this. Ace of Swords for Pisces, the good stuff. What's this Ace of Swords? Their money, the good stuff for Pisces, their money. Ace of Swords. Damn, we got all swords. Some of y'all could be talking to a professional. Some of y'all getting like an Aries. There's something here about like a professional liar or something like that regarding your money and your work. A professional liar. Someone, I don't know, someone here works in the business of lying or being dishonest. I don't know, is that a car salesman or something? Politician, I don't know. But um, what is this for, for Pisces, their money? This is counterpart energy, king of swords and the king of swords. You're getting some kind of opportunity over somebody else because you're smart. And you look like you got your shit together. Like you look real professional. So there's a need to be professional. Keep it professional. Keep it simple, Stephen, as well. Stone Cold Stephen, okay? I don't know, but 
let me know y'all let me know i'm nosy I'm, I'm gonna post this again at the end of the month so let me know how this manifests for y'all but that has been your reading okay i hope this helped you in some way i hope it resonated thank you again to shanikia for this uh tarot deck i got this she got this for me a while ago but th it felt really fitting for this the messages were amazing so thank you so much legacy of the divine if y'all want to get it on amazon for those y'all that are tarot readers if y'all don't care then you know it's okay but um but that's what i got for y'all okay thank you for watching um i hope this resonates i hope it provides some clarity i do hope all this good stuff comes true for y'all and i will see y'all in your next reading okay bye everybody